welcome. <laughs> Oi, 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 yes. It's that time. You know what time it is. You just saw the bloody name of it, didn't you? Yes, it is I, Isnib, here for the Isnib show. As always, we ain't going anywhere. Anyone's got a problem with that? You know where to come, don't you? How you doing? There's Mikhail. How you doing, bro? And Scotty, too. And Benjamin with his blue guys. Side of game. How are you doing, bro? Is there anybody else here? And there is Jack. How you doing, Jack? Are you well, my brother? Tra la da 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 da. That, that, there's nothing else that could happen there. More importantly, though, EBC 2021, Scotty. Yes, it's true. He's over nine thousand. Yes, aren't you, young Scotsworth? You are. Let me get that flex on there. Mmm. Mmm. Good flex. Let me just get this on here. Oh, I am... You probably know you guys. Oh, God, he's high, high energy today. Yeah, I'm a bit. Um, Less sleep last night, for whatever reason. Woke up crazy early. Uh, Gets me a little bit wired, for some reason. It's all good, isn't it? It's not a problem. Let's pour it into the show right now. Let's make the most of it. And then um we shall uh we shall uh just crash towards the end. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh <laughs> Scotty, that was your uh That was your second flex there, sir. You are right down the bottom of our leaderboard, which is still above everybody else who's not on there at all, obviously. Um that's gonna boost you up quite a bit, because there's plenty of people with single flex on there. Uh, yes, boosting you up from 28 to 21st. Uh, so yeah, I think you must. I think you've been spending your points on other stuff, haven't you, Scotty? I think you. Yeah, you've done a few raid redemptions and stuff. How you doing all today, folks? I hope you're bloody well. I am bloody well. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to go some. <laughs> Honestly. Oi! <laughs> who's 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 ready for old Isnib? Bring it on. I am ready for thee. Right, let me uh, just get all this updated. There we go. Nice, nice flex. Thank you for your support. EBC 2021, ladies and gentlemen. What a bloody ledge. Let it not be said otherwise. Who be saying it to me? People don't want to do that, apparently. So it won't be said. It's testament. It's word. Is it? If it's on more panels, it's written in stone, folks. It will not be... I will not have a word said against it. How you doing? I hope you're well. Um, both of you. Yes. Slight it is. But anyway, Jack. That Anyone just... You got... You've lads, you fellas. My good friends. Uh, Jack Bygrave there. He is my... Uh, very, uh, very young. He's, he's a grown man. <laughs> he's my much younger than me uh stepbrother and he's he's a good lad i like him a lot um so yeah please you know you guys are already welcome doing but i just like people to be aware of that um so yeah how's it going um yes yeah, sorry slight sorry we got caught up yesterday me and slight we're gonna have a a chat yesterday it was the day before no yeah it was yesterday wasn't it so uh and by the time we got messaging me you said you said oh damn i forgot the eight hours in the future and you're on a curfew and i was like ah, it's, it's all right it's like soon buddy gonna get this uh uh a, a foamy interior of this room which will hopefully contain the sound within the room stop it escaping through walls and and especially ceilings where my uh my brother and landlord is just sleeping as i'm or attempting to sleep as i'm being a noisy mofo that's you know, so uh, <laughs> soon, slight, and then you, then you, then you message me in the middle of the afternoon, slight, when you're just chilling in the middle of the afternoon, and I'm like, I can't talk, it's too late, and you, and slight, it's like, it's, it's just, I've just had my lunch, <laughs> I just had my lunch, he can't talk after lunchtime, I'll be like, yes, it's the middle of the night, and it's fine, let's have a, let's have a conversation, Twigsy. The man himself. 
My God. Mm. Twigsy. Yep. Absolute bad man. How you doing, sir? Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm very well, Mike. How are you, sir? What's going on? Tell me. Yeah, all the feet. All the feet. You taller than me now, Jack. He, yeah, he probably is, to be fair. I'm s I, I'm s uh I'm about six two. Uh Ben. So I don't know that we've necessarily uh me and Jack have uh, we've not seen each other in a hot minute. Uh that we've measured ourselves. But honestly, the the way he's shot up in the past couple of years, I it would not surprise me if he is indeed taller than me now. Um which, you know, I'm not like a giant. I've definitely I walk around and I see other dudes who are like, oh, damn. But, uh, yeah, there you go, 6'4". Yeah, he's got two inches on me. Well, I know, Jack, that if I ever need to, you know, wade into battle, I know who I'm calling, sir. Um, there we go. Damn. Damn. You, did you, did you, Jack, did you tell me you started boxing? I, need, I know you work out. Dude, just uh, take it as, like, you know, You've got this natural gift of size and strength. The best thing I would say for you to do, sir, is double down on it. I know you work out already, but... Dude, I mean, I don't know if you're interested in martial arts. Think about it. Uh, I wish... Honestly, that's like probably one regret I had. I wish I'd got into martial arts when I was younger, but never mind. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, Pete. Pete. Is he's the he's the boss? Is out, Jack? Do you know what I mean? Uh, up to him. But yeah, let, don't forget this though. There's nobody. There's not a single person. Of the Isnim show, of the community, of the sport of this channel, who flexes more than one individual, who is m more over nine thousand. Than this particular individual and that is yes the lord of darkness mike mike what a bad man flexing flexing it up nobody flexes like that dude mike you're flexing master god he's he's got some guns on him now after that flexing i tell you Gu guys give him a little Give Mike a little round of applause. That's his thirtieth flex. Now you know how many how many points each of those flexes are. He is eleven flexes ahead of Slick Mick in second place. God damn it, young Michael! What a bloody talk about ledge. You can lean. You can rest something on it. What you like? What is this? Shall I? Can I rest? My water bottle on him. Yes. Oh, what about my phone? Can I rest? Yes. Hard drive. Yes. Cup of tea. Yes. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, Mike is a ledge of such unparalleled or legend legginess that you can you can put anything on him. There's not a thing you can't put on him. Don't forget this, folks. Yeah, I, I was always uh, one of the larger kids. Not just height and uh, width, but also like big fat belly when I was a kid. Um, yeah, we are a bit on the tall side, aren't we? Um, you missed all last week. Doesn't matter, Twigsy. You're here now. That is what matters, sir. Uh, last weekend, my God, yes, we had the Conflux Raid Train. The first official raid train uh, f ran over two days, both Saturday and Sunday featuring members council members of the conflux discord server and it was bloody fantastic by all accounts i think everybody enjoyed it everybody involved and it wasn't like anything special it's just a bit more organized and uh you know i think all all the council members who were the streaming it, it enjoyed it at least as much as usual if not more and i think all the viewers enjoyed it at least as much of as usual if not more so there we go yeah i don't know maybe there's something around here um ben uh mike's pretty tall as well mike's 
I'm a bit more like Broad than Mike, but Mike's as tall as me. At least. It may be, maybe Mike's slightly taller than me. <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm definitely taller than my brother, but I'm not like looking down at him like he's a midget. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, sorry, you're not allowed to say midget anymore, are you? Li is it little people? I don't, I don't even know. I'll, we'll find out one day. It doesn't matter. Um, damn, yeah, Jack, you keep that going. That will serve you very well going forward in the rest of your life, Jack. Um, not only just the fact that you're going to be, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you stronger. Not only does it weightlift and build uh, muscle, it also it strengthens your bone. It builds bone density. And apparently, of all physical factors that can uh, assist you in longevity, having a sturdy skeleton is is one of the top factors, apparently. Who would have thunk it? That's double. That's two reasons to do it. Third reason, Jack, is uh, if you you kind of like building discipline. If you start now early, dude, I wish you, I had got into exercise when I was your age. Where would I be now? I might be like an ish old D. No, I wouldn't. That man's a beast. <laughs> but I might be... A f I'll be much further along than I am now. Do you know what I mean? You just know what I'm saying? But damn. Um, yeah, it should be. It should be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Or it could, oh, maybe we could have a Conflux Hall of Fame. I don't know. Yes, indeed, Mike. Well, you're the ledgiest of all the ledgers. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's weird, isn't it? My uh, my dad, uh, last time I saw him, at least Jack, is not that not like that tall either. I don't know. It's weird. I think I wonder if some things like that skip a generation. See, see, only five ten, uh, Ben. I feel that's pretty. That's pretty decent. That's like pretty decent average height, isn't it? Coptimus crime. Yeah. It's true, cop, isn't it? Whatever Ben has or is, is incomparable to anything else, isn't it? I never make, mean to make Ben feel uncomfortable saying that. But you need to understand, Ben, it's your humility that puts you above everyone else. Because it's genuine and you mean it. And it's not like... It's not like... It's not like a false humility where people are like, oh, I suck. And people are like, no, you don't suck. And they're like, oh, people are paying attention to me. <laughs> it, ben means it. It's not like Ben thinks he's shit. He's just humble. As you should be. We could all learn a thing or two from you, young Benjamin. Yeah, it's what, lovely to uh, raid into you, dudes, on, uh, on uh, Sunday. Wherever the day is. <laughs> Um, hey, let me go. Yeah, and that's that's another benefit. Not all women or men, if you know, if that's your persuasion, are, are like into um, specifically desire like large, muscly men. But on average, on a not on a, like a social sense, but in like a a psychological um, evolutionary sense, women are drawn to more athletic stronger more fit dudes so that's a factor that not really doesn't really matter to me so much but it's working for young jack good on you sir enjoy yourself um <laughs> the gend <laughs> you the gend oh i don't know to be delighted or offended <laughs> Uh, yeah well we that's the thing it doesn't matter what ben thinks we know the truth earn yo earn how's it going bro you're all right looking in how are you doing young earn what's going on bro we're just um we're just doing our uh, how long do we go guys i don't know we, we usually just do like a little bit of just chatting before we dive into the game each day. Some days it only lasts 15 minutes. 
some days it lasts an hour and 15 minutes but <laughs> it's it's all uh it's all fun and games or not games chat just chatting <laughs> it's all fun and just chatting uh, <laughs> either way it doesn't know that matters welcome on in Ern. i hope you're doing well buddy um welcome welcome back to twitch because you've been away for a hot minute and thank you for joining the conflux feel free to you know if you've got your own uh, personal server uh, and of course I, I say this to everyone you know focus that obviously apart from the council members of roped in <laughs> no <laughs> um you know focus that but uh if you you know cons ev everyone please consider the conflux your second home that's what we're trying to yeah that's what we want it to be always great excellent excellent and yeah you're doing well bro since last we saw you it's Ern's doing really well folks he's um I, i'm sure you don't mind me mentioning this one he's uh he's on a health kick and he's doing fantastically and here's the thing anytime you uh do anything like that whether you um sorting out your diet you're losing weight or you're doing a little bit of exercise or whatever it is or maybe you're giving up smoking or cutting down on the smoking or whatever it is or cutting down on drinking whatever it is whatever it is the more you do it and the more you go along and the better you feel you go oh damn this is the more you realize it's worth doing and you go oh and then you kind of get a bit of momentum and you're like, oh but oh what well, let's see how far we can take this let's see what we can do with this i didn't think i could do this but yet here i am and i'm doing it oh how surprising it's bloody love it um yeah no worries earn and if you want to take any inspiration from the conflux if you want to not um you wouldn't but you, i don't care i don't care if anybody comes if anyone like were to like copy paste it or, or co do anything and be like oh that's good i'm gonna take that we're, we're not gonna care because all we've all we've built the conflux for to serve the community and if so in whatever way it can do so yeah get on it don't rush it um exactly exactly mike how long has it been mike over a year now 18 months i've lost track dude yeah dude yeah so you sit down in your chair and you're like oh got a bit got a bit of space here on the sides i don't i don't where'd that come from i don't remember that being there let's have a little round of applause for Ern. getting after it he's doing what is right he's doing what he should be doing because he knows he knows even on the days when it sucks and he's like maybe he's he's got like a, a healthy meal he's got and he's like ah oh, ah oh, this again ah oh. and he's like me and he just wants he wants ice cream he wants ice cream but he, he thinks about it and he's like oh, ice cream or pizza i know Ern's a big fan of pizza and he's like ah oh, pizza but he goes no i'm not doing it because it's my choice because it's gonna it's not gonna serve me to do that it's not gonna help me physically but even more than that it's not it's gonna rock your motivation definitely for me i'm like oh i've done that well done. it doesn't matter now nothing matters now I might as well go buy a packet of cigarettes <laughs> it's like that that's how it is um yeah oh my god um yeah dude i know you do i know you do bro There'll be a future and um, where you can once you know once every few weeks once a month you can you can indulge and be like you know what i'm gonna order an extra large pizza with everything on it and enjoy mm. that that mm. Mm. that pizzery goodness um but for now be strong, sir. We're with you. Yeah, everyone's got different uh, philosophies, haven't they? 
different ways of doing it, Jack. Um, I was at my best, I feel, when I um, when I had the exercise and the diet dialed in. Now it's kind of uh, they've both subsided a little bit. Um, that being said, I kind of uh, you got you've got to have a balance. But you can definitely get away with eating a lot of random crap if you like Jack and you just beastly bench pressing all the time. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Liz, how you doing, Liz? You all right? Oh dear, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! There she is. Thank you, Squidge. Oh, lovely Squidge. That's me. That's me stroking your face, Squidge. She's like, we're not. Don't get that friendly, is? Jeez. Boris will go for you. My God. Um, but thank you so much for that resub, there, Squidge. Um, now, cops. Yeah, how are you feeling, Liz? And cops, what are you talking about? Cauliflower crust pizza. Is he? He's trolling now, isn't he? I know some people claim to like cauliflower, but. You're going to put it on my pizza, bro. I can imagine that. I'll go and visit Coptimus. And he's like, hey, it is. How you doing? It's about time we order pizza. And I'm like, okay. All right, that sounds good. Pizza with Coptimus. And he's like, oh, here's uh, how, a, how about some cauliflower pizza. I'm like, you, you're trolling me, bro. He's trolling me. I'll, I'll, he doesn't mean it. He's joking. Um... No worries, Ern, if you're still there, Ern. Um, yeah, you on top of it, bro. Yeah. Every time. So you've got to stay away from it. There'll come a day. There'll come a day. We've all got that one thing. Two days off work, Liz. That's kind of good. Also not good because you're not feeling very well. Um, oh, shizzle. Okay, that's that's me stroking your gum as well. Oh, she, she's like, wash your hands. Wash your hands, it's calm yourself. Um, ah, that's not good. Yeah, you said you were, uh, you one of your fillings fell out or something. Which tooth was it? In your, are you in pain? I'm sorry to hear it. Zero carbs. That's a, so it's not made of bread. Oh, it's literally, it's literally the piece that's made of cauliflower. It's vegetarian and gluten free. So is it literally? <laughs> So, so Coptimus, let me get this right. When you say uh, cauliflower crust pizza, you're just saying it's just a slice of roast, roasted cauliflower. There's nothing pizza about it. <laughs> uh, I, oh, yeah, I'll skip that. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, Jack, tell them. We, I know what. What's your favorite pizza? Yeah, how does it work working at Domino's? Do you get discount, Jack? Or do you get like, is there like leftovers at the end of the shift? Or how? Then me, I'm really fascinated by this, Jack. I've thought about this often. And Domino's is superior to um, Pizza Hut, definitely. But um, what's your favourite pizza at Domino's, Jack? Mine is always barbecue base. It's got to be the barbecue base, and it's got to be crispy bacon and chicken. I don't need anything more than that. Yeah, we can chuck some red onions on there and jalapenos. Of course, excellent. That's that's only going to make it better but it's not even needed that's what we're doing yeah there's limits though cop but yeah it's like what's the great what's the best thing life it's not what the things that are in life it's life itself because you can't have the things in life if you're not alive uh so prioritize we're on the cusp, folks. The golden age is around the corner. Uh, and all the Matrix. It, it might, I don't know if it's going to be a good or bad. But don't you want to find out? Don't you want to find out? I do. I do. We're going to be running around in VR playing games together, folks. Not just stream will be... The Isnib show will be me there in your living room with you. Do you know what I'm saying? We're all, all in like one place together. That's what that's what we're looking forward to. We just gotta you gotta hang in there until we get there. That's what we gotta do. 
Oh, god damn. Squidge, what the hell? Uh, one of your wisdom team at the top. Ooh. Ah. Somehow, I feel it's going to be more painful than the bottom. I feel like maybe the um, the bottom is more durable. My weird imagination going off on one there. Um, oh, it's... Ah, jeez. Yeah, it sounds terrible, cop. Despite its... Uh, <laughs> Despite its uh, qualities, there it's yeah, it's yeah, it's vegetarian, it's gluten free, zero carb, zero taste. <laughs> yeah, you gotta balance these things, bro. Get on you. Now this is tragedy. Squidge made banoffee pie, one of the best dessert. Now, not all banoffee pies are created equally, but the world's greatest banoffee pie may be. And I bet Squidge's homemade banoffee pie is pretty... I'd like to taste it one day. Absolutely. Uh, I bet it's pretty good. You can't go wrong. It's like, oh, perfect flavour combinations. Banoffee pie. Mmm. And now she's going to eat it. It will save for tomorrow. Think about this, Squidge. When you do eat it, whether it's tomorrow or even the day after. Oh my god, it's going to be so... It's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. Think on it, Squidge. Don't get down. Um. Okay, okay. It's got. All right. It's got eggs in it. Oh, Scotty. Come to me. She said it's gluten free. You're saying you're putting gluten in it. Either way, it doesn't. It sounds terrible. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't need pretend pizza. Just give me normal pizza. Um. Oh, bless you, Liz. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, my dear. I sincerely hope you're feeling better soon. You just got. You just got to rest. That's all you can do. I know you've been through a lot recently, Liz. Uh, stuffed crust. Um, this is a good good choice here. Uh, Squidge. It depends. I'm not against it, but I'm not someone who needs it. Uh, and it. It depends. I don't think Domino's do a stuffed crust. I don't know. Maybe Jack can tell us. He might be at work at a minute. He has to like, run away. Which, or he's just... Or he's got his girlfriend with him. And he's... He's like... He's, he's like, the Isnip show is pretty good, but... You know. That's my girlfriend, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh... It depends. I've seen some weird, like, stodgy stuff to crusts, uh, squidge. So, it's like, I'm not, it's not really something, if there's, a, like, a deal, and you can add it in for free, yeah. I'm not, like, going to pay more for it. But I can definitely go for it. I definitely see it as an upgrade. But I'm, I'm not, like, some people are obsessed with the idea. I know, like, Pizza Hut did one a couple of years ago, like, a hot dog stuffed in it. It's like, I'll just stay away from that jank. Um, Liz, you know it. You and me, Liz. Ah, oh. mm. we know it. Yeah. Now, yeah. If you get pizza from, obviously not Pizza Hut or um, Domino's. They're not doing lamb donna, but some of like the kebabies and stuff that also do pizzas. You get lamb donna meat on a pizza. And yes, Mike. Yes, it is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Uh. Cannot go on bad. What's bad slight? Yeah. Heathen. Go to is ham and pineapple. Eh, it's, that's fine, Squidge, but I don't know. Can you, The question I ask is can you not do better? I mean, ham and pineapple's fine. It's fine, isn't it? It's quite pleasant, some may say. But, uh, yeah, can you not do better? Can you not do better than that? <laughs> but, I mean, look, pepperoni's good. Pepperoni at, with on anything, with anything. And any pizza that has pepperoni as well. It's never a bad thing. But, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, bless. Bless your squidge. We're feeling really sorry for you as well.
God damn, you, re you probably guys probably read this. It sounds banging. Okay, so this sound part of this sounds weird to me though, Jack. So um, okay, so I can understand. So yeah, if someone doesn't collect, so do you get? Does that happen often? People go, all oh, right, I want to buy a pizza, and then they make it, and then the person just never turns up. But surely they've already paid for it, unless you can order bef and then order and collect. So they've the place has made it, and they've not actually made any money. That is amazing. And obviously, maybe if they have to, you'd hope that people's orders don't aren't wrong. But so I guess occasionally that would happen. So anything that is like a mismade or made by accident, you get to eat there and then. Or probably take home with you if it's cold. But get the cookies at Domino's. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. And obviously, yeah, who doesn't like chicken strips and everything? That's good. But then we'll move on to the good stuff because you could go, you could go a whole week and there's no cock ups, and he's like, "Ah, eh, where's the free pizza?" He gets one free pizza per staff member a week. So every Friday night, you can, and can it be any pizza, extra large with everything, please, <laughs> and fifty percent discount on anything you order. Okay, so not yeah, not Ben and Jerry, not Coca Cola. So yeah, it's like pizza, whatever, drink drinks and ice cream, whatever whatever that's always marked up anyway now the question becomes jack how how strict are they with that like i guess you have to pick it up if you go on your day off you're like i'm here to buy pizza like but like i can't order pizza at half at your 50 percent discount and get you to deliver it to me kind of <laughs> That's what I was getting at. That that's not, that's a, that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> My God, cop! I feel bad for you, buddy. I feel bad for you, cop. But look, as we just said, life, life. <laughs> yeah, cop would probably like to eat some ice cream. He probably would like that, but he much likes being alive more. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, oh, Liz, did you used to work at Domino's? Mm. You, yeah, you in there now, Twigsy? You in the conflux? Get in there, son. Blow it up. Do what you want with it, Twigsy. I'm very proud of it. We've all put a lot of effort into it. Uh, and there's still a few tweaks we need to do here and there. And it's, you know, it's, it's here for life, so it's going to change. It's going to evolve over time. Well, I'm glad you like it, Twigsy. We're very happy to have you there. Little ear snip. <laughs> Red mage. My, yeah, the favourite mage. I've yet to start levelling my red mage in... Um, Final Fantasy uh, 11, but uh, it's on the horizon. I'm going to get around to it soon. Um, sorry, uh, Liz and uh, Jack, are you saying they do to my um, my question of me getting a, a half-price pizza delivered by, by my uh, stepbrother? And he's claiming it's for himself. Just to confirm. Uh, yeah, I have had the garlic. Okay. Uh, garlic uh, infused cheese crust. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. Sorry, I don't think. Um, I don't think uh, Squidge would appreciate me sending her my nudes. I don't think she'd like that. I don't think she'd like that on a normal day. A normal day when she's feeling good, has food, and has banoffee pie to eat. She's not going to appreciate that. How she's feeling at the moment, she's definitely. No, she's not. I think we'll not do that. Oh, noodles. He means noodles. Yeah, I think they'd be cold by the time they got there. And those noodles that I have, I actually, I need them for myself. So, you know, I would, you know, I'll do anything for Squidge, but I'm not going to die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to starve to death so she doesn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, subtle hint of garlic. Yeah, and why not? That's the way we should, we should do it. Um... Yeah, there we go. Those kind of nudes. Sorry, I was getting confused there. Um, yeah, I mean... 
<laughs> it depends, doesn't it, Scotty? I feel that, you know, we could play like a, a quiz game. Is it better? Like, take something and say, is this thing better in the US or Canada? I wonder what things like Canada beats uh, the US out in and, and vice versa. Maybe a fake cauliflower pizza is one of them. Does anybody care? <laughs> you two do. That's what matters. That's what... How you doing, Red Mage? I'm just talking pizza. Making me very hungry. Um, ground chicken. Okay. Yeah, I guess that does sound weird, cop, but also it's chicken. So I'm like, you know, just give me the chicken. Yeah, sorry about this, sir. We started talking about pizza, which is probably the last thing you want right now, so I do apologize. Um, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, fair enough. Poor man's pizza. Oh, all, 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 as we call over here, posh man's pizza, homemade pizza. <laughs> um, oh, Liz. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, nice. I wonder. I wonder if one day I could uh, try this is uh, Nan's cheese pie. I can't just really invite myself. And even if I got an invite, it's kind of not exactly practical. Imagine like this is Nan being like, who is Liz, who is this? And this is like, oh, it's this name. And this is Nan is like, what does he want? And she's like, oh, he, want, he wants your cheese pie. And then she's like, oh, okay. Like, hey, okay. <laughs> um... Oh, don't worry about that, but you walk by the front, do you? Uh, yeah, that's the front... Well, in the front uh, uh, room at the house, uh, Jack, that's my brother's living room. So you wouldn't see me anyway, it's him. Uh, my bedroom is at the front, but uh, my sleep schedule is probably such that... Um, although, I guess you only work... Eve what, do you work the evening shift? Because I know, like, pizza places are, like, open from lunchtime, aren't they? But... So I might just be getting up. But yeah, stop by any time, Jack. I'm not... I mean... Give us a heads up first, do you know what I mean? But <laughs> you're more than welcome, buddy. Uh, of course you are. Ham, pineapple, and jalapenos. Yeah, uh, that, I, yeah. Again, uh, like I was saying about pepperoni a minute ago, jalapenos, it's, like, uh, it's not ever a bad addition. Kind of doesn't matter what the pizza is. I don't think I've ever had it with pineapple and that. With the spicy and the sweet. Imagine that could probably work very well. No, I don't mind pineapple, Liz. Some people hate it, but I'm like, it's it's pineapple. You you're gonna look me in the eye. You're gonna look old, his nib in the eye, and tell him you do not be liking the taste of pineapple. Well, land lover, you may be walking the plank, cause I tell thee, there be no pineapples in that there ocean, so it should suit ya. Just fine. Yeah, I guess he I guess he can, Squidge. You get prank calls at this. And you've worked uh, in both of them, yeah. So people just hey, can I have a pizza? And you're like, oh, yeah. And then just that was the end of that. Oh wow, I could I could, like, phone up Jack's work, order 10 pizzas, and then they have to go to waste. And then Jack's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take those home. <laughs> and then we split the split the winnings. Uh, <laughs> only joking, folks. Don't do that. Um, Some people put the wrong address. <laughs> oh, some people just don't. I yeah, some people just don't know their own address. Seemingly, I remember that when I worked at Iceland with the home deliveries, you'd be like, "Yeah, can I take your address?" And not not this doesn't happen often, but there's at least one guy I remember who just didn't know his address. I'm like, "Oh, so you wanna you wanna us to deliver your shopping to your home?" 
yeah but you don't know where you live oh you know where you live you just don't know the number of the house you don't know the name of the road and you don't know your postcode wow can be tricky isn't it <laughs> <laughs> roast potatoes with stuffing that's an interesting combination so usually you're going to get a stuffing with meat uh mike so that meat in this roast potato stuffing equation or just those two things together um <clears throat> some people just don't open the door yeah, yeah so if you go out on the delivery and there's no you the address is wrong you just don't find the uh you just have to bring it back to the store and then well it's kind of this food go to waste. Oh, damn. So you could have your one weekly pizza at 50% and say, oh, this is my staff discount, one weekly 50% off pizza of the week. And I want it, and I'm paying for it now. This is what it is. And I want it delivered to that address. Bro. Right, I, I would not, because you probably want that for yourself, don't you? Because let me be, I'll be honest with you, folks. If I worked at Domino's, some people be like, "Oh, I'm gonna get sick of eating." No, I would, I would, and could, and would, and will, and would, and could eat Domino's pizza every single day. Now my guts might not like me for it, but <laughs> my taste buds would be like, "Oh, do it." You know you want to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Cop? Uh, how the, the, those things work out. Like, it seems like a curse, but maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Um, killing Murr. I mean, I mean, we, I mean, we can do if you want to, um. He probably he's probably done something to deserve it so i mean i probably shouldn't talk about it on stream but um no everyone's gonna think we're joking so i guess it doesn't really matter too much uh super meaty yeah i saw your pizza red mage god damn uh anyone wants to see what pizza red mage has been re eating recently get in the conflux and have a look at it it looked fantastic red mage crazy i've never seen that like a decker pizza before a very interesting concept i would uh definitely uh nosh the living hell out of it okay well i don't i, I certainly wouldn't want to put on you jack do you know what i mean but uh to be considered and it is here's the, the honest truth anyway jack uh even with 50 percent off at domino's i can't i don't know <laughs> I just, that's still uh, too expensive for me. So, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, my brother does occasionally order pizza for himself. Um, but he kind of mixes it up between Domino's and Pizza Hut. Why would you choose Pizza Hut over Domino's? I don't know. And um, sometimes Papa John's. I don't know. Really? He's like, oh, yeah, it's uh, slightly cheaper. Yeah, that's because it's more than slightly worse <laughs> it's not as good like right, so you're gonna go to the effort do it probably but um <clears throat> probably not enough uh that we should bother you in all honesty jack but um still food for thought let's leave it at that um <clears throat> it's terrible isn't it sky they would do that to us Maple syrup? What's that one, Jack? Not the pizza. Oh, well, and is that comparing Canada and uh, <laughs> and the US? Uh, hello there, Meat the Bunny. Sorry to keep you waiting there. I'm constantly behind on chat. So, uh, Meep, so sorry if I kept you waiting there. Hello, welcome on in. Every bunny. I see what you did there. Very nice. Uh, Meep, I've seen your name. Uh, who have I... Where have I seen your name? Magical through Magical Craig. I believe I've seen your name. But well, welcome on in, Meep. My name's Sisnib. 
call me ears. If you need anything, let me know. If you want to know anything, let me know. We are planning to play Final Fantasy 13 today. But these crazy people that always insist on um, keeping me jibber jabbering like an idiot for uh, far too long. So, but look, at the end of the day, you got to give the punters what they want. They want this stupid face and the stupid words and sounds that uh, emanate from my from my being. So I'm going to give them that until I kind of run out of steam and then we'll, then we'll play a bit of Final Fantasy 13. But, you know... Give the people what they want. That's what they say, right? That's what we're doing. Oh, okay, you usually do... F oh, okay, so you do the, the early evening one, Jack. Okay, you've been, been doing a lot of the uh, the super early ones. The lunchtime till evening. Hey, extra money. Now, I expect... Is it a bit quiet on the quieter side at midday? I don't like pineapple. Ah. Well, I mean, Jack, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Um, oh, God, I'm a... Sorry, Liz. I'm just being myself, Liz. I don't know. Poots! Poots Cootie is in the house. How are you doing, young Poots? The man, he's a... He is definitely a man. And he's a rather... He's a rather good one at that. Did somebody say he's not? If anybody hit Poots, if anyone says anything about you, bro, you send them to me. I will set them straight. No, I'm not. No, I'm not definitely not sponsored by Pineapple. I wish I was. I would definitely be happily be uh, be uh, sponsored by Pineapple. That's crazy, Jack. Um, Slick Mick, you're not late, Dad. Anytime you turn up, that is the right time. So welcome in, Slick Mick. <clears throat> exactly what are we going to do we want to eat them um so meep you're down with a pineapple as well yeah you prefer what doing the late shift mike yeah i guess it depends what what job it is doesn't it you put the rangers address in the delivery <laughs> yeah it's yeah totally so like you, you got one job I'm not being funny. If I'm ordering pizza online, I'm putting when I put my dress in, I'm I'm double checking it. And do you know what, folks? I feel strongly enough about pizza. I'm triple checking it. Nothing gets past Captain Isnib when it comes to pizza land lovers. You know it. God damn. Some people are weird though. Some people are actually actually weird oh my god i'm well behind sorry i'm slowly catching up folks um <clears throat> yeah it's so weird you could do a roast good on you mike i can't i can't do much i'm not much good use for anything honestly That's ridiculous, Jack. Yeah. So, 14-story block of flats or apartment buildings, as some of our friends out out on the in the west might say. Um, so they won't answer their buzzer. Someone else let you in the building. You walk up 14 flights of stairs, get to their front door, and they don't answer the door. So then you leave, go back to the store, and then they phone up going, "Oh, where are you?" Oh. Oh, yeah, I've, uh, I'll get proper aggro with people like that. <clears throat> you like Papa John's? Papa John's is fine. If you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> I, I've only had it like once or twice, Squidge, and I'm thoroughly unimpressed with Papa John's. Um, but I'm not sure why you would be sad about not having pizza. Domino's is just superior. And thank you, Red Mage. Yeah, 500 followers. I think we were at 501 before the stream started, so. <laughs> That's fine. It goes up, it goes down. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> ah, okay, Jack. Excellent. That's good. That's very good. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm out of it. 
It's fine though. I'm a creature of the night now. It's absolutely fine. Um, <clears throat> they were away, and I ordered a pizza, but then I went away and turned my phone off. And I and I want a full refund. Okay, so yeah, they're crazy people, Liz. I don't like pineapple. It's fine. It's fine, Jack. We'll trade. When when you and me, Jack, are uh, stranded on a desert island, I'll have all the pineapples. You can have all the coconuts. Seem or, or whatever else is there. It's fine. I'm happy with that trade. Yeah, I've. There we go. I've caught up with chat. Welcome back, Earn. Welcome back, po Post. Welcome back. You welcome in. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? What they what games are they playing over here, Poots? Talking about pizza constantly. Um <clears throat> I don't I'm usually pretty busy at the end of my uh, after after my stream earn, but uh thank you. I appreciate that offer, but I'm glad you're back, dude. Um Yeah, good doing all that post stream jargon and jank. Ugh. <laughs> this is the fun part. The after stream is not the fun part it's not that too much stuff i have to do but it's just having to do every single day it's um yeah i bet liz i bet your customer service is better than mine mine's mine was pretty good for many many years and then i got to the point where I, you know what i want to tell people how i feel and they're like, oh you can't do that i was like wait well, you're gonna well, you're you gonna fire me you're like oh well no you you're too good of a work to that one so well, there you go what are we gonna do here folks i'm gonna be me i'm gonna be, i'm the epitome of customer service and politeness well spoken polite i'll bend over backwards for, for a polite customer but if you start giving me any any lip at all oh Ooh. <clears throat> I haven't stepped up to customers, but <laughs> I had a guy who was like, "Boy, you jumping on tail?" I was like, "No, I'm not. I'm not. Not now, mate. I was just about to, but now I'm not." Yeah, you have to do that. I was like, "I don't have to do anything, mate. You can jog on." And then actually, my cashier at the time, it was just me and him in the store, was actually, "Oh, actually, is can you jump on tail? Because they come up the size of a queue." I was like, yeah, now I'm jumping on the till because it's actually needed. You don't decide. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. And I was like, no, mate, you, I'm not serving you, though. Know? You can jog on, son. I'll serve these other people here, but you can jog the actual on. And he was like, I'm, he couldn't believe that I was talking to him like that. I was like, no, I'm a real person, mate. You talk to me like shit. I'll talk to you like shit. And he was like, oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I don't mean, I was like, it's fine, mate, because you learned a lesson. You need to speak to people like they're people, don't you? Congratulations. Your medal's in the post. Get in our shop. Uh, <laughs> it's so much fun when that happens. Um, yeah, no, it's ridiculous, Jack. Oh, what post streamer? And so I've got to get my up. Well, well, see, first I've got to raid into someone, and then I like to try and hang out uh, for a little while. Um, then I'm like uploading to YouTube, backing up to my hard drive. Got to do uh, a tweet, thanking everyone, you know, just letting everyone know how the stream was. Got to go and make food, eat the food, do the dishes. Uh, which doesn't, I, mean, I guess, it doesn't sound like much, but it's like at the end of the stream, I'm like, oh, I just want to. I just want to curl up and die. <laughs> Not die. Um, yes. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can quote that. They can have that. If Head PE want that in one of their songs, they can They can have that for free, Scotty. You give them a call. Um, yeah, I know it's madness. They've got Squidge there who's like, please deliver to me. I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> I'll be waiting. I'll have the door open already. And me and Boris will be there waiting to uh, receive you with open arms. Uh, and no, it's good. She'll be like, I'll make you a cup of tea as well. And they're still like, nah. And then you've got other individuals who are like, 
Oh, where's my pizza? Ah. Idiots. Uh, yeah, I'll have mine too as well. I, but yeah, speaking of delivery specifically, um, with the home deliveries we did at Iceland, you basically get a two-hour slot. You can order online, or you can order in the store for later on that day it gets delivered. And it can be anywhere between those two hours. And the drivers don't choose their route. It, the computer chooses the route. So when you book your slot, you are saying to the company, I, I myself, or somebody else, will be at that address five minutes before that two hour start starts slot starts and five minutes after and there will be someone there throughout that whole two two hours and ten minutes period to to receive the delivery so what happens if the driver gets there and there's nobody there they're on a time limit basically they can probably hang around for about 60 seconds if you're not if you don't answer the door they've you, sorry your delivery's come back to the store we've got to sort it out another day so i had a guy phone up and he's like Rawr, my kids are starving Rawr, Rawr. i was like bro apparently he stepped up to the delivery driver and was like i want to fight you Rawr. he didn't obviously um and uh, <laughs> i was like bro you, you i tried to like, politely as i possibly could explain to him this is the way the system works you you have agree, you've made a verbal contract with us that you're going to be there and you weren't there. Oh, stuck in traffic. Well, maybe you should got the later slot, shouldn't you? Rawr, rawr, rawr. I was like, I was like, you know what, bro? Jog on. You can't have your delivery. Oh, rawr, I'm phoning head office. I was like, you, yeah, you got to do that. Go do that. I'll see where that gets you. And then, oh yeah. And then head office tried phoning. I just didn't answer the phone. <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh. Ugh. Anyway, got hydration here from Urn. Let's let me get this down me gullet. Oh my god, look at this! Just chatting for an hour. What are you doing to me, folks? Do you want me to finish the Final Fantasy series or not? <laughs> Jog on emote. Yeah, I'll probably do. I should probably. <laughs> that is an excellent idea, and I'm not sure exactly what we'd have for it, but yes, in essence, we should definitely should. Anyway, let me get you guess this for you, bro. Ah, oh, perfect. Keeping me alive, sir. Alyssa Gage. How you doing, Alyssa? Welcome on in. Are you a fan of... How did you find us today, Alyssa? Are you a fan of uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen? If you are, bear with. We aren't going to dive on that soon. We're just, doing our, just hanging out with the community for a bit at the start of the stream. I'm doing very well, Alyssa. My name's Isnib. You can call me Is. Everyone does. Or any variation on that is absolutely fine. But welcome on in, Alyssa. Pleased to have you here. You're doing great. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that. I'm doing great as well. We're all doing great. Everyone's doing great. This is not feeling very well. Uh, neither Squid. She's had a tooth out. Bless her. But generally, you know, we hang in there. Conflux community. That's how we do. So welcome on in, Alyssa. Make yourself at home. If you like, no pressure. If you if I say something or you think I'm a bit weird and you're like, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving now. That's perfectly fine. No, no grudges shall be held found found me on twitter excellent there you go that's not was nice i <laughs> don't know that anybody does usually but i'm pleased to hear that Alyssa. so welcome on in if um what um is there any particular games or streamers that you're into typically i'd love to hear izzy man 5000 of nibmeister thank you and i can go either of those <laughs> um no, we're not finishing the Final Fantasy series. Well, here's the thing, Red Mage. Even when we've played through the, all the single-player games. Yeah, um... Final Fantasy XI has overtaken my soul again. In a, in a way that I never thought it, thought it would. Let me just be honest about that. Let me be absolutely honest about that. Um... There we go. So I've got our, our 9,000... Over 9,000 there. I've got hydration from Urn. Let me tick those off. Um... Oh bless, <laughs> bless Jack. Yeah, that's quite, that's nice actually. That's got a nice personalised touch there. Oh, 
Oh, Liz. That's beautiful. Restoring faith in humanity there. Oh, yeah. You, you need to... Yeah, that's... Well, the static... Uh, oh, yeah, Pikachu there. That is... Um, he's perfect as he is. Um, but if you can animate him, that would be even better. Definitely. Oh, read everything, Jack. That's why we're always here. Just chatting. <laughs> You guilty for there not being a delivery? Um, oh, you mean when your work was delivering to you? Ah, fair, Jack. Well, good, good on them for being chill about it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, drunks can, drunks can be like the, the worst thing in the world or the best thing in the world, can't they, Liz? They really can, in my experience. Oh, Alicia, you're a professional graphic designer. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get quite a lot of uh, professional graphic designers following uh, follow me on Twitter. Not that I'm assuming you followed me, but uh, let's say finding me. I think, uh, I'll guess you probably, maybe you found, um, Twitch hashtag or, or, or streamer or I don't know what hashtags I use. But anyway, welcome on in, Alyssa. Um, yeah, there you go. Check out, that's Urklons, isn't it? There, Cobb. It is as well. Perfect. Can't go wrong. Uh, guys, is there anything else you want to throw at me? Should I have a look on Discord? Yeah, I've tried to be as active, active as I can on uh, on uh, the Conflux, folks. But um, the thing is, it's, the, the server's not about me. I'm just there to help facilitate its existence. Uh, and I've, I've delved into a few channels and stuff. But what's uh, really struck me is you, you've already taken to it and you're all blowing it up. It's all, you know, it's very active. And it's nothing to do with me. It's all to do with you. Uh, another thing, because I'm, I'm, I'm technically sat on the top of the the, uh, the server leaderboard at the minute, just to, based on the amount of work and communication that I've had with the council members, I'm hoping someone comes along and knocks me off that top spot. I did consider set, resetting my XP and dropping myself down to level 1 before we opened, but I never got around to it. Now I feel it's kind of too late, but... Um... yeah liz yeah no doubt no doubt uh but um uh god i've got a bunch of stuff to read there i can't i can't justify reading it on stream at the minute but uh there we go, Twigsy. He's in the conflux. Ow! Oh, who else got in there recently today? Rock. Rock War got in there. Tofu. Goddamn Jen and Lawsy uh, all joined today. As did uh, Ghost Girl, 82. I don't know Ghost Girl. I don't know everybody else I mentioned just there. I do not know Ghost Girl. But it doesn't matter. That's what we like. Um, Twigsy giving us his birthday. Excellent. More, more coffee <laughs> if if only joel if only um so yeah oh my god notifications everywhere let's just you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna close discord we don't need discord open while we're, while we're streaming right now um you just ignore me well here's the thing scotty I, I hope um i hope scotty that somebody overtakes me all right, from the Twitch hashtag. All right, do you, uh, but your streams, our streams going fantastically. Thank you, Alyssa. Uh, do you watch many streams? Um, do you have favourite streamers or particular games you uh, you you're looking for? But yeah, I want someone to overtake me, Sky. That's what I want, dude. Yeah, I do hope so, Liz. 
No, no, uh, Alyssa. No, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm, I'm okay for graphic design at the minute. I've got other priorities I need to spend my disposable income on uh, than graphic design. And I've, I know, uh, you know, you probably see from the, you know, it's just cobbled together. It's not that impressive. It's not unique to me. But it's good enough, you know. I feel like graphics only take you so far. You know, gra gra graphics are not the content. You know what I'm saying? And it's definitely something that needs improvement. But it's certainly not a priority. So, yes, thank you. Um... <laughs> Ten messages? Did let's just... Just spam those. You know right? you know me, Scotty. I like to play, uh, play with it. I know, I know what she's doing. As soon as she said that she found me on Twitter, I was like... Yeah. Oh, you're a graphic designer. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I look at most of them and they seem like they're actually bots. But seriously, I've got 237 followers on Twitter. Not much, not many. Uh, more than some. Not that it really matters. It's not a metric that really matters. And I must have, whether they're bots or actual real human beings that are graphic designers, um, I must have about, about 50 I reckon about 50 of those 237 followers are random graphic designers who are they're just trying their luck. They're just fishing. They're just like, I know. I'll just follow every Twitch streamer that exists on Twitter. And then that's how... I feel bad for them because we're over here doing our streaming. Do, <laughs> you know, try, trying to, you know, in essence, get paid. You know, exactly. If I need graphics, I'll ask Earn. <laughs> you know. Um, so that... How, but the, the graphic designers they're even thirstier they're even desperate for business than uh than we are us little old streamers <laughs> got nothing going on You're slick mick slick mick's done loads of stuff for me do you know what i mean it's uh <laughs> no thankfully it's not that many scotty because i know you don't follow me on uh twitter scotty because scotty doesn't follow anybody on twitter because he hates us all no, that's not. <laughs> he doesn't. He loves us all. He doesn't because he doesn't do Twitter. Which is... Uh, I just see it as an extra avenue of your name being out in the world. But then, you get, you know, you're going to have to... Uh... Wow. <laughs> well, thank you for the follow, Alyssa. I would hope the only reason you would follow me, Alyssa, is... <laughs> is that you like what I'm doing here. And it's worth following my... Uh, my, uh, my Twitter. Um... Yeah, no, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, I, I people. I, I don't do follow for follow. I follow people who interest me. Now, anybody can go and look at my Twitter and see the the people I follow, the people I'm interested in, which are definitely some graphic artists, um, and you know, fellow streamers, people I know and like, and then famous people I know and like, um. So that's the thing, Alyssa. If you were just hoping for a follow or business, I guess you kind of just. My dear, you've come to the wrong place. Bless your heart. Assuming you're a real person and not just like Russian troll farm or something. <laughs> um, you did earn exactly, exactly. Uh. <laughs> Fair enough, Liz. That's all right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll follow Earn because I know Earn and I like Earn. The fact that he's a graphic artist is neither here nor there. And in fact, if Earn was like, uh, you know, I don't want to stream anymore or whatever, I still follow him because I like him as a guy. I'm, you know what I mean? <laughs> there and we're done. There we go, Scott. You got. You got to give him a chance. Now uh, that behaviour doesn't. Um, I know. I, sh I know. I know. It's terrible, isn't it, Sky? I just assumed. I just, uh. Yeah, I don't think even the, uh. Profile picture's real. I swear, half the. Uh, the uh, most of these graphic artists, they look fake to me, but they're not real human being. But yeah, I mean, I just assumed. But I shouldn't. 
I do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Liz. People I know. I don't, I don't know Jamie, but I, I know you, and I know of Jamie, and I know the kind of things he's interested in. Uh, he was playing Jewel, uh, Master Jewel, gave Hobbin Lost out on that, which I'm not like massively in love with. So anybody doesn't know, uh, Liz's partner, Jamie, he has a one piece tattoo on his hand, hand jammer, one piece tattoo. Now, I hope most of you know how I feel about One Piece. Um, automatically means he's an awesome dude. I don't know anything really anything about him. But I know he likes One Piece enough to get it tattooed on his hand. Bravo, sir. Jamie, if you happen to be there. And you're probably not, but pass on the message for me, Liz. Jamie, you have impeccable taste, sir taste that may even be considered over 9,000. Um, yeah, have a look. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah, I don't, even, I don't even know if they're, like, real. Let, yeah, let me pull this up for a second. Uh, um, oh. Every time. Yeah, look, there, there they are. I don't know that you're a real person. Or maybe it, it could be, I, I think maybe um, there's just like the factory fa factory farms full of like, um, you know, 14-year-old like Chinese kids. And the, they're, they're the ones doing, uh, you know, the graphic design. I don't know. Yeah. Damn. Check that out. Well, look, here's the thing, Jack. Um, I'm definitely all about tattoos. It takes some time to think what you uh you want. Yeah, data farming. Yeah, they do. They do all sorts of stuff, don't they? Cop. All sorts of weirdness. I don't know what it's about, but um. That was interesting, wasn't it, folks? <laughs> Scott had had enough, though. <laughs> yeah, Mike's all about the dark side, uh, Jax. I try, I try to, you know. He wasn't calling you knob there. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, what gender bot? <laughs> um. Yeah, feel free. I think you've. I've yeah, I think I've yeah I've seen them in the old Discord, but feel free to share them with everyone in the uh in in the conflux, Liz. Yeah, that's a good time to think about it. the The hardest thing to do, Jack, is to find the right artist. So the best thing to do is look around on Instagram. I know you're active on Instagram. Look for tattoo artists. Um, be prepared to travel. Don't just get go to one in Gosport. Although if you find a good one in Gosport, do. My artist, uh, Ty Finison, that did my whole Twin Peaks sleeve here in Gosport. And uh, I think she did a good job. Good on you, Ty. I've not seen her in years. Bless her heart. Such a lovely lady. And she's just like, cool. So cool. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> exactly um uh, but anyway look, we've dealt with that they've gone away but anyway guys i've rambled on you've had me go had me going for an hour and 20 minutes today Jeez, what are we doing here folks um fair enough jack yeah like i say choose the artist as long as they could, can do a, a style that you like and are happy with um Yeah, just just go for it. That's what I say, bud. Um, oh well, bless you, Red Mage. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, sorry to the thank yous. Um, since last stream, we've picked up uh, two new followers. But you see that, oh, the lost one. But it doesn't matter. Um, the bridge too far. Now, most I would hope most of you know that name. I don't know bridge. I know the name. I know their name. You don't want to. <laughs> 
Got to be very careful about genders nowadays. Um, I believe I've yet to see. I almost raided Bridge a couple of times last week, but uh, I think other people chose uh, us to go elsewhere. Um, but uh, I think I know Bridge mostly through Legion Cage. Is that correct? Can anybody correct me there? Who knows? Who knows the bridge too far? Um. And also, thank you to Cordial Snail. He's back in town, folks. He's always doing all right. He's on the conflux as well. Cordial Snail. We were left with a singular snail in the community for a while there, but Cordial is back. Um. I assume he must have followed me back in the day. And I'm not going to take it personally, Cordial. When you when you left Twitch, I I don't think you're in a very good spot, buddy. I don't think you're very happy about... Primarily Twitch, I, I assume, and uh, hope, as opposed to things in your own life, maybe. But So I'm guessing it wasn't just me, personally, you've unfollowed. I guess he unfollowed a bunch of people. Um, but thank you, Cordial. W welcome back. Uh, I know he doesn't dislike me specifically because um, before he left, he chopped me 300 bees out of nowhere. I was like, oh, damn, cordial, 300 bees. I think he just dropped a Dragon King slice on us. I was like, and then he rode off into the sunset. So thank you, cordial, for the refollow and bridge too far. Appreciate it, guys. Um, Final Fantasy 13. Let's finally dive into it. <laughs> Unless there's any... Well, it doesn't matter because we're still... I'm still going to prioritise you guys. Always. Always. Uh, there we go. Perfect, Liz. I I haven't got... I've just closed this score. I'm not going to open it again. I'll open it again after stream, though. But yeah, I've already seen them. But for the sake of everybody else. Yeah. Some people don't like hand tattoos. And I don't know why. <laughs> if you... I don't know. I the only, ta only place of, ta of tattoo where I'm a little bit... Uh, that's f face. Get a tattoo on your face. I mean... I'm probably drawing the line at that point. Um, yeah, let's, pre let's pretend that's what I meant to do. Red Mage, eh? Ooh, how clever of me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Full day sessions. They will. They will, Liz. So, yeah, we're going to dive into Final Fantasy XIII. But, of course, if you guys need anything, you want to tell me anything, you want to ask me anything, that is what the chat is there for. Yeah, Red Mage, I'm, you're making me out to be cleverer than I am. But you know, you guys know, from day one until this day, and every day forever, I'm gonna, you're going to get nothing but the truth from me. Believe it, because it's true. Unless, of course, I'm an evil mastermind. And every word of everything I say is a lie. But then if that was. That now we've just created a paradox, haven't we? Yeah, am I lying? Is it which one's which one's the lie, Poots? You decide, sir. Anyway. <laughs> um Let's go. Let's get it, let's get let's get it rolling. I've been jibber jabbering too long. Yeah, what is what is my name? What is my name? It's not Beanie, certainly. Stephanie! Steph Baby, sir. How you doing, Steph? Are you alright? You missed that jibber jabber, Steph. We're jibber jabbering for like an hour and a half today. Oh, you see him hanging out in the background there? Younger. Little glance at uh, old Rick there. In his a pickle a form. I think I'm not up to date on uh, Rick and Morty. Some people don't like it. I find it astounding. I think it's excellent. X, yeah, you do that, Liz. Well, thank you. You get on with your book. I appreciate you being here greatly, Liz. Can you let us know how it's going? Yeah, it's every, Steph. This is a weird thing, Steph. It's everybody's favourite part. So I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I can't just do just chatting for like for five hours. 
I can't. Surely I can't do that. I can't do that. Um. Maybe once we've wrapped up what's currently on the plate for the SM show, being primarily uh, the rest of the Final Fantasy series, a couple more games, watch parties before Final Fantasy. We start Final Fantasy 15. Look for that on the Conflux if you want to be involved in that. I don't know if that's of any interest to anyone. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to watch for it anyway, so I might as well watch it on the Conflux and invite you all in. Um, Borderlands 3 with Stefan Murr. Barely scratched the surface of that game. We're going to be, I'm pretty sure Stefan Murr will be here on Saturday, but not the week after. So we're here, there, and everywhere. Maybe I'll need to start introducing games where it's just something to do <laughs> while we're hanging out. What's this? There we go. Steph Babies with the gift sub to Earn. Well, thank you for giving that to Earn. I appreciate that. Um, Steph, 90, 90 gift subs. You two. You're too good to me, Steph. Exa exactly. Yeah, Bolly, I told me and Steph finishes uh, streaming with me. She's like, oh my God, shut up. <laughs> uh, you know, but then because she, she goes without it for a while, she kind of gets a bit of withdrawal. She likes it, but, you know, she's like... This such thing as too much of a good thing. Am I right, Steph? Damn. What's this? What's this animated booty? You you're slinging up here, uh, Ben. This seems like a bit too lewd for you personally. I'm not even sure how that got okayed on uh on Twitch. Quite frankly, that doggo. It doesn't. Oh, it says it may, maybe it says more about me. I don't know. It doesn't look like he's just like, hey, look at my butt. It's like looking back over his shoulder and wiggling. And there's like magic happening. It's almost like, well, hello there. Why don't you come on in? Uh, that's kind of a bit weird uh, for a dog. <laughs> um, again, probably just says more about me and my state of mind. So I do apologize for that, folks. Um... No, yeah, no, that's not the game. What I mean, like, I've not, I've got plenty of games, buddy. That's a, a very involving game. That's the opposite of what I mean of just something to play. That's on the same line as this. Less story, no story, but very, very involved gameplay. I've got a lot to say about everything that's going on. That's not what I mean. I mean something that, like freaking Tetris. Actually, I guess maybe that'd be too distracting. Uh, Stardew Valley, Minecraft, Minecraft. That would be the game. I've actually been in invited by Pocket to play on his a uh, private server. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, it's it's good. It's very good stuff. It just seems a bit too like suggestive to me. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's just me. Um, yeah, Jack. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm just <laughs> unlike you, Jack. I did not have a girlfriend, so it's like. You know, it doesn't take me much. I'm like, oh, was that a change of the direction of the wind? Ooh, what's this I have here? <laughs> Terrible, I know. It is what it is. Jess, how you doing, my dear? I hope you're well. How's your Xbox One? You enjoying it? Yeah. Do you reckon, Ben? Is that a thing? Would anybody have any interest in seeing me running around Minecraft with Pocket and potentially other people? I don't know how we would do it because I wouldn't like to take over somebody else's chat. You know what I mean? And you know me, I don't shut up. I don't know. Something to consider. All right, okay, here we are. We made, finally made it to Erba. I got the music. Oh God, so, so evocative. They're very appropriate. Um, so, yeah, the last... This is uh, Vanille and Fang's hometown village. And they'll see Cocoon hanging up there. Um, but because they returned to Crystal, the last time they were here was like... I don't think they gave a specific time. It's like 100 years, 200 years. And we've only just got here, but there's seeth everywhere. I don't think there's people just chilling here. 
it may have been the end of the village. They may not have any friends or family left. Not that they, they're actual direct friends or family. They'd all be dead, wouldn't they? But they're descendants. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's fight our way through here. Oh, that's all right, uh, Jack. I, I've played Minecraft before. I'm basic. I understand how it works. It's just I don't know whether I want to necessarily invest the time. And it's very tempting. So I know it's quite interesting to people. And it's kind of a very chill experience. And, um, you know, playing it with Pocket as well. And I'm not sure how the access to the serve would be. Like, does he need to be online himself? Or uh, is it something that you can just dive on any time. I don't know. Something to think about. Oh, jeez. All right. Thank you, Steph. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. I'm just, uh... Oh, you've played on the same server and Ray's on there. And, uh, and James. Superb. The Book Destroyer. I like Book Dragon Bell, Liz, because you hoard them. It's like a, I get it, Liz. You you collect them, isn't it? It's like a collection. It's like a mental, emotional collection for the rest of your life, isn't it? You know, I've read that one. I know that story. I know those characters. Let's move on to the next one. I've got to collect. It's like it's like a Pokemon collector, but Liz don't care about Pokemon. She cares about books. Destroy. It's such a harsh way of putting it i see where they're coming from but i don't know i feel like you're collecting them this you can grant access oh, okay so i know uh pocket definitely wanted people coming in but he just wanted people he knows and trusts because obviously he doesn't want rando coming in and racking everything they've built so yeah t feel free to tell me about what's going on the server specifically ben like is it like building projects underway can i sit here anything like that um f9 most of the best ever nine three and lots of other numbers hello there most of the best ever how are you doing uh, so i'm even on i'm fighting these in the right order here okay. uh welcome on in assuming you are a real person i don't want to uh okay yeah, we want to go from tax him first this is ignore the vampire this guy's way squishier than just the little one. Makes sense. Look there, we can just staggered. Excellent. Let's get some heals in. Just on the safe side. Um, but if you are a real person, most the best ever. F9. That's not, you know what I mean? F not as in fi the Final Fantasy 9. Most the best ever. Many people feel that. And, you know, rightly so. Either way. If you're a real person, thank you for the follow. If you're not, I stop talking to myself. Um, excellent. What you what you guys got lined up? Anything particular? Oh, only I've only done an hour. Seems legit. Well, I apologise for that. F nine most best ever. Um, you know how it is on Twitch. You sometimes get a. Uh, you get bots, don't you? Um, but yes, welcome on in. Thank you for having a little look there, Steph. Uh, but yeah, no, no. I don't expect anyone to speak in chat. You just, uh, you just chill. You do what you want to do. Maybe. And uh, look, I mean, if we're gonna have a, a graphics designer bot, I wouldn't be upset if it was. Oh God. Uh, if we should uh, probably um, pay attention to the game. I wouldn't be upset if it's Android 19. Not upset at all. That's the kind of graphic designer bot. Uh, that's the kind of bot I'm into. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what's up to me today. I'm, um, I'm full of beans, so they say. Damn, the monster collection. Excellent. That sounds cool, this. Yep, 
Yeah, Instagram. I've I've given up on Instagram. It's for me Instagram. I mean, you can you can see some good-looking people on there, but that's just I don't need that in my life. But that's just distracting. I right, got a little uh, crafting material there. Add that to our collection of the crafting materials. Um, it's very useful for finding good tattoo artists, but I have two projects underway. Keeping two lovely young uh, young men tattoo artists waiting and have been, unfortunately, for a couple of years now. Um, I can't even think about other tattoo artists until I get those finished or at least resolved. Now, I'm sure they're both going to be cool about it because uh, it was kind of just before the pandemic kicked off. So they probably kind of understand why, you know, I've not been back to see them yet. Um, and I kind of, uh, my money started draining before uh, before the uh, lockdowns even went in place. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so, I, so in essence, what I'm saying, what I'm getting at is I have no use for Instagram specifically between now and who knows when so um and I've, I've given up on the idea of using it to uh promote the stream i just don't think it's very useful i've already given my reasons for that what happened what happened ben <laughs> abby's friend took over your instagram account and started trolling you Yeah, you can't fire Abby. It wasn't her fault. The Yakuza games. Yeah, yeah, Mike. Yeah, they are. Um, they are. And they're fantastic, Mike. I mean, if you want to get the full story, start with uh, Yakuza 0. But yeah, I've played. We played 0 on stream, didn't we? Uh, I also played 1 off stream. And I've played like about 90% of uh, Yakuza uh, 2. Which of the three, I actually, I actually think this is the best of game. It's slightly better than Zero. Um, my only problem with it is the rest of the series, I'm pretty sure the Cabaret Club minigame is only in Zero and Two. So it's that I don't... I mean, it's going to be a bit upsetting to not have that in but <laughs> i'll come back and finish two at some point i'm taking that oh we go got a little uh little mission here here we go 28 faded glory where's this sending us oh just in the direction we're headed okay we should be fine then yeah let's uh look at the map yeah we are that's where we came from that's where we're going go around there and that's where the mission is just around the corner Okay, let's go. Hi there! Most best ever. Uh, F9? I'm going to call you best ever, if you're comfortable with that. You are a real person. I'm very glad that you're a real person. Don't don't take it personally. Or do, because you're a real person. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, we sometimes get bossy. And we had, like, a graphic designer come in here a minute ago trying to hawk their wares. And even if they were real... And what they appear to be. So, come on. A bit of class. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, anyway, welcome in, best ever. Is there a particular thing you are the best ever at? Or um, just in general? Which is pretty badass. I, I'll tell you this. I am also the best ever at one particular thing. These guys will tell you. And um, they will all agree with me. What is it, guys? Yes, that's right. I am the best ever at being me. Which is your house? Is Nib. Good old is. What do you mean, which is ours? No one can do it quite all like I can. They're all ours. What? Yep. Because everyone's dead Everyone already. Everyone in the village lived together. Oh. Uh, one big happy family. Hippie commune. One heck of a lot of places to hang your hat. That's pretty cool. We're back. Yeah, there's nobody here though, Neil. I'm so sorry. Are you a fan of this? Uh, are you a fan of this game, uh, Best Devil? Is that how you found us today? 
Well, good on if you are good on you, because uh, it, it, this game gets a lot of hate, a reasonable amount of hate for no real good reason. Yes, Yuki Chan. Oh my god. Honestly, so, Red Dot. Oh, take a look around. We better. Yeah. Got to find something to help us lose these friends. That's not the only reason we're here. You're finally home. Make the most of it. Yeah, there's not really much here to make the most of, Saz. Although you, you're technically right. He's not wrong in what he's saying. Um, yeah, honestly, Red Mage, playing Yakuza 0, the mini, the Cabaret Club Mini, it just, it, it, not for, like, lewd, uh, not for perverted reasons, but I literally wanted to be, run... <laughs> I, I just wanted uh, I wanted to be Majima and just be like, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll run a... Yeah, uh, I'll run a ca cabaret club in Sotenbori late 1980s. That's what I'll do. I can do that. That should be my job. <laughs> it's like, what? What's going through your brain is? I don't know. Nobody knows. Oh. A Vitala. Now. Is this. We've already fought one of these, haven't we? And it looks like a boss. I wonder if this is an actual boss version or. It's like a toned down version from the boss version we fought. I'm really not sure. We are gonna buff and debuff though, just to see. Thanks. Yeah, it looks like it probably would be. Give it a go. Yeah, something about it, Red Mage, I don't know. That kind of like that time period in that place. And that kind of like lifestyle. I don't know. Not necessarily being the Yakuza. That's not saying I've got a Good job. <laughs> um, no, exactly, Red Mage. And and it's something that's very fun about the minigame. Which I can't fully, um, fully explain. It's like simple, but uh, very addictive. Are we, are we fully buffed yet? No, we're getting there. Okay, now I think we're ready to go now. Oh, sorry about that. I think it might be necessary. A fruit and nut? Uh, when you say might, Liz, I don't, I don't... I think that's crazy talk. What do you mean you might? You definitely should. Get on it, Liz. Get the fruit and nut eat it and tell me how good it is and uh i'll try uh not to be uh too jelly all right let's uh go one round there and yes time to go aggression we'll heal afterwards all right okay we're gonna have it half dead unfortunately we need to like oh let's not die so yeah Enemies. Oh no, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. No, we're not. He's done his special thingy, hasn't he? He's put his barrier up. What a. What a absolute. Yeah, no, Liz, exactly. If you can't, I'm terrible, Liz. Like, even if I it wasn't feeling well, I'll just scarf it anyway. And just be like, oh, no, 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 no. Even if I know, if I wait until the next day, it'd be even better. Like, perfect example. Um, Squidge. With her, uh, there we go, we got him. Um, with her banoffee pie. I would just eat it anyway. Even though I'm in pain. Look some greedy guts. That's just me. You you guys have more uh, more restraint than I do. Right, what, what do we... Oh, there we go. Okay, grains of crystal sand choke the inner workings of this machine. Whatever purpose it once served is served no longer. Okay, let's kind of answer that question outside. All that white stuff is crystal sand. It's not snow. That's good to know. 
but uh, assuming there is no real reason to fight that guy. What's going on here? Oh, bless you! What did you get? What did you get, Squidge? Bram. Oh, oh, oh! Let's go ahead. Bless you. <laughs> I like that they sell soup at the petrol station. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's curious. <laughs> We've got cottage pie. Ah, excellent. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with cottage pie, can you? I don't think you can. Okay, now I've got another one of these big boys. Let's run upstairs first. These burlap sacks are stuffed with tools for outdoor labors. One bears a tank proclaiming the name of its former owner. Which is... It's a bit of a cop-out, isn't it? This bag has the name of its owner on it. We don't know what the name is, though. We don't have to tell you that. <laughs> um... Whimsically coloured boxes flank the shattered mirror's frame. Sung Young Girl's treasure chest, to be sure. Kind of presumptuous. But, uh, who knows? Oh, what's this? It's a little robot or something. Ah, back teeth! Back teeth? Oh! Friend of yours? Yeah. You're okay. I was worried. Okay, the little robot buddy. It's been fine for the past two we'll centuries. He's not ready for the scrap heap just yet. A bit worse for wear, yeah. <sighs> Nothing I can't fix. Just need to track us down some parts. Oh, okay. This is a side quest. Repairing back teeth. Uh, it's in dire need of repair. You should be able to find all five of the necessary placement parts within the village of Arba. Okay, uh, okay, we've probably got to... That's what it's for. Okay, I guess we'll do this. Not in there, surely. Uh, a pot this size could f uh, feed a great many mouths and would have been used regularly for communal cooking. Indeed. But, surely there's no parts in there to repair back to. What about here? Uh, while not in itself the most luxurious of beds, the sounds of fellow sleepers no doubt afford some comfort to its occupants. <sighs> you say that? I don't know. I would uh, personally, if I, I'm trying to sleep and I can hear someone else s sleeping, that's not going to be comforting for me. It's really bloody annoying. It's your birthday on Saturday, Liz. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I'm not yawning at that. Um, well, happy birthday for Saturday, if I don't see you before. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Um, but yeah, definitely go out with Jamie. As you, as especially, especially as you couldn't last year. But don't worry about that. You'll be here in spirit, Liz. So that's what matters. Perfect. You do it. You have a good... Whatever you're doing, you have a good time. Okay, so there's no scrap parts in there. So we've got five things around here that we need to find. So let's get to it. Turn the tide. This is true. This is true, Liz. Forever more as well. Do you know what you do? Sorry. See, it's catching up with me already, folks. I told you I was a hype at the uh, beginning of the stream.
There we go. I think we are good to go on the attack now. Yeah, do you already know what you got planned? Yeah, I feel like... Again, we haven't gone out of our way to uh, grind at all. And we also haven't... Um, do one more of those and we also haven't uh, upgraded any weapons at all yet so that kind of says to me that I don't know I feel like we're doing alright regardless have I just got the hang of things oh did we oh nice nice we got the bloody thing before we put up its uh, magical shield ah uh, Okay, so Jamie's mostly got it covered for you, but but you've got a few ideas as well. Excellent, excellent. Um. Okay, so there's nothing there of any import. Again, no, I don't want to hate on it. It's slightly no. Oh, hang on. What was that? Is that that? Oh, there we go. Signpost. Bad have forgotten. Sign stands for the road. Another sign of victim for passage of time. So, I'll say this about Urba. No one's been alive here for maybe hundreds of years. But even when we go back a couple of hundred years, when it's uh, thriving, it it doesn't feel like the place was built by it's like it was like the inhabitants of Vanille and Fang's uh, town's folk family like they discovered this place and took up residence here not that they built this necessarily I don't know that's what it seems like interestingly birthday shopping excellent sounds good okay we don't want to do that we want to do that food at your favorite pub perfect movie night with ben and jerry's oh that sounds a fan bloody plastic oh perfect that does sound good doesn't it squidge I just want to move that slow debuff from you. There, Fang. I right, just need to protect on her, and now we are ready to go. Alright, more on a little diversity for a second. There we go. Let's do a one. Let's do a second one. And then go aggression. Can we get it again? Oh! Oh, just. Just. A second later, I would have got his goddamn barrier up. Nice. I'm happy with that. Yes. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, uh, Liz. It's going to be exciting. Oh, there we go. You've obtained a battery pack. I need to f There's four parts scattered around. Oh. No. Okay. In fact... I think they're marked on the map. Two. Three. I'm not sure where four and five are. 
Don't seem to be marked. Let's check there and just uh, press onwards. Alright, so we need to fight these uh, random uh, creatures, I don't feel. Do need to fight this vampire, though. Apple juice, yeah, apple juice is quite underrated, I feel, Liz. Apple juice is wonderful. I'm not, I'm not. I don't feel confident about weighing in apple versus orange juice debate. But uh, you know, generally speaking, I'm probably somewhat inclined to choose apple juice over orange juice. I feel it depends on the quality, possibly. And in fact, high quality of either is great, and low quality of either is, you know. <laughs> I feel like maybe low quality apple juice is better than low quality orange juice. Maybe. Uh, but high quality of both. Mm. Hard to choose. Hard to choose. Apple juice and pepperoni pizza. What What do they do for the apple juice? Um, is, this, is it like they put some in like the uh, the base or something? Put some in the sauce. Yeah, finally, finally got it. And don't apologise about going about food, dude. I mean, as long as you, as long as you feel you can handle it. We're uh, all about that over. Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's understandable, Liz. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ian, I'm an idiot. I thought you meant somehow apple flavouring on the pizza. <laughs> No, that is your go-to uh, drink of choice if you are having pepperoni. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not personally too concerned, like with what I'm um, necessarily drinking at the time. And 99% of the time, I am just drinking water or tea or coffee. Um, and I see like, uh, you know, a, a juice or a soda. Or if any other kind of drink um, has been its own thing, if that makes sense. Obviously, both together, nice food with nice drink, perfect. I'm not going to knock that, but I can uh, definitely enjoy each separately. Um, I need to spend our points. Oh, no, yeah, sorry. What did we pick up? Heavenly Axis. Wasn't for uh, Fangor, is it? No. It's got to be for uh, Vanille, right? Yes, Staves. There we go. Heavenly Axis. Again, the Staggerlock. Yeah. It seems like it's its own kind of strategy that we could definitely look at. Oh, missed something. Let's go back around. But I'm not going to worry about it at the minute. And let's uh, look at that. Once the visitors would have found their way by these signs, it's difficult to determine how long ago they must have been. So what was on Grand Pulse? All right, we're fighting you guys. Um, before, before even Herbal was here. I mean, I think it matters. Take the bats out first. Yes, yeah, it's, it's slightly more squishy. And these um, seekers, freaky creatures. It's a, a nubbin and a, and a giant arm. <laughs> yeah. Easy prey. Easy prey. Don't even need to snag them. Only if it's got gin in it. Yeah, no, fair enough. I definitely could, but I rarely do. Uh, but, I mean, I got some gin going, I suppose. Um, a power cable. 
Excellent. That's two out of five. Jeez, I'm about to die now. It's not fun, is it? How are we doing for time? Oh my god, we're literally two hours into the stream. <laughs> I was expecting to look up and be like, ah, oh, we're like four hours in. No, no. No, no, we're only two hours in this. Strap in, young fella. I wanted to run away for uh, six seconds in a moment. That's caught up with me. Maybe running up the stairs will wake me up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Sorry, guys. Don't know why I do it. You guys know me. I sleep like a beast. I sleep like a bear hibernating. And I'll sleep solid eight hours, if not if not longer. But, um... What, no, like, not once a week? Once a fortnight? Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, fix this mess up. Um, I just... I go to bed at my usual very, very late time, sleep a couple of hours, and then just wake up ridiculously early, like normal early for most people. But um, for me, excuse me. But yeah, for me, it's like. Um, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've slept like four or five hours. And, I, you know, if I feel like, I'm, if I've just woken up and I feel like, oh, I can probably fall back asleep. I always just stay there. Oh. Trachoid gear. Two parts remaining. Okay, I didn't realise it dropped from enemies. That's handy to know. So that's definitely going to be a part. So I'm not sure where the last part is. Unless we get it from these. This uh, hunt here. I don't really want to have to backtrack. But we shall see. Okay, that is a lot of little lizards there. Where is it up here? Maybe? No, just, just treasure. I'll say just. It could be really good. Ah, bloody Libra scope. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, I don't want to underestimate these uh, lizards, so we shall uh, we'll spend our 37,000 points. Thank you so much, Squidge. It sounds like that's what I need to do, quite frankly. <laughs> but I hope your soup is good. Uh, and I hope your blanket is nice and warm. And uh, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow and you're feeling better and you can have some banoffee pie. Hey, Kyura. Perfect. Some magic. Some strength. Some more strength. Some more magic. Perfect. Or well worth it. Yeah, pushing the uh, saboteur. Hit points, hit points, strength, magic, level four, perfect. Oh, let's hope at. Just gonna remind myself. Actually, I'll probably just um. Jeez, uh, I'll probably take our three minute half midstream break just now. Just take it now. So we're almost at the halfway point and make coffee. And if that doesn't perk me up, nothing will. Um, well, we got magic. I think it matters too much. Which would we get these in? A Faraga and a Blizzaga. Some hit points, some, and that's it. So you're not even making use of his strength in any way, way, shape, or form at the minute. But that's 
That's fine. Right, okay, I'm going to pause it there. Three minute break, folks. I'll make coffee and um, we'll make some more progress. You know what, Liz? I'm so glad you've got your nan. I don't know her, but I feel like I've known nans like her. Nans like your nan. Not just my nans, but other people's as well. And I know what they're like. And I'm so glad that you've got her, Liz. And that she's looking after you. I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Uh, now that you are subscribed, you will not see them yourself. But yes, I shall chuck up three minutes worth. You know, I don't expect uh, the you know these guys to watch them, of course. Well, Scotty says, hey, I'm running ads. Don't engage with them. <laughs> uh but you know how it is dude you know a few pennies here a few pennies there it's just a sensible thing to do um i'd love to hear the the details of that one day liz if you want to share you certainly don't have to but if you do and it certainly doesn't have to be soon if you do whenever it is if you do whether it's you just want to type it out or you want to talk to me personally, privately, or on the conflux in like a group thing, or even on stream. I oh yeah, I'd love to. I lo I just I love hearing hearing um hearing people's stories and the, you know, like their struggles they've been through, and they've come out they've come out the other side, and you might not have come out unscathed but you're here and you're breathing and you're surviving and you're doing the best that you can i bloody love a love a story like that anyway folks yeah we'll try and set something up sometime Liz. however you want to do it that's something i've considered doing like on stream interview I don't, interview sounds too formal but um hang out and chat doesn't sound formal enough i don't know we'll think on it but anyway guys i'm back three minutes i'll make coffee here's some ads don't don't click on them or buy anything please uh <laughs> go get those uh pennies rolling in so bear with me my lovelies i'll be right back and we'll uh, get through our other
Don't even mute my mic. Thankfully, my filters on it are pretty good. <laughs> uh, not anything weird just going. On. Yeah, I'm a little bit cold. I'm gonna put the chocolate hoodie on. Bear with me. There we go. Sorry about all that. And gloves as well, I think. My God. <laughs> um, you're in a dark place, where you, Yeah, I've... I know maybe the dark place you were in was somewhat different to mine, but yeah, I've been to that place. I think we all have. At some point. I'm glad you're not there anymore, Lids. I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Yeah, of course. J is that is it Jamie and your nan? They're the two. Yeah, for me, it's my mum and my brother. They're my two. But yeah, Ern, I mean, if if you see if if you see any ads, which you won't have done, but <laughs> if you see any ads for stuff that uh, you're like, oh, actually that's that's cool, I'll go for a bit of that. Then who am I to uh, complain? Look at this. We just got the drop on these uh, little lads. Oh my god, how many of them are there? I went all the way up to I. I don't even count. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So it's nine. Nine of the little things. Here we go. go quickly, as quick as we can, utterly eat them. Hopefully Hope doesn't die. There we go. That could have been very tricky if uh, we not got the drop on them there. But we did. So it doesn't matter. Ineffable fluid and strange fluid. All the fluids. Mission is complete. Got a giant's glove. That's an accessory, isn't it? But it is. This is D brave resistance. Oh, really? That's oh, a hot cloud. It's this bloody stagger lock, wasn't it? What's that up there flying around? It's gone now. Okay, it's you with a couple of your little friends. Something. Too much of an issue. Just take them out first, yeah? Here we go. Now we should even the odds. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> totally. I feel that, Liz. Yeah, you get into it. I'm not trying to distract you. But, uh... We we will be here for hopefully the next two and a half hours if you uh, if you do want to weigh back in. We'll see what this coffee does to me. At the minute, I feel like I could just fall asleep on stream, which you're not allowed to do. It's completely illegal. It's against the law. So we should uh, probably not be doing that. When I'm not ready to go on the attack, I'd much rather prefer to keep the fully healed Thanks. where possible rather than just chip away with building a chain a little bit. Reason being, when I do decide to fully go on the attack, it's much more useful just to be able to go for it and not feel the need to interrupt with heals. I, f I find. That's just my personal... Okay, we are ready to go now. I'm getting distracted there. Um... Okay, and we did manage to maintain that little bit of a chain we'd started. 
There you go. Look, Hype's taking a bit of damage. Now, if I'm not healed at all during that, he might be close to death by now. But it's not. It's fine. Right, let's so we'll do one round of Ravager and do one more round of Ravager. Okay, and switch to aggression and hopefully this can get the job done. Hopefully, Hope will stay alive in the meantime. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, our damage is. Uh... There we go, just. See, Hope almost died there. If I'm not taking the time to heal up, maybe he would have. That really matters. Oh, bless you, Liz. Yeah, that's what I want. That's the vibe I want you to get from him, my dear. Um, aspheric lens. One part remaining. Oh, what's that? It's not going to be it, surely, next to this one, but... Reinforced leather bindings now to picture books and children's primers like these to withstand the attentions of their audience. Yeah, indeed. They're doing all right. I wonder... I suppose if books are well made and they're just, like, left there. It's not like they're outside or buried or anything i guess it would last a couple hundred years this weathered globe apparently a model of cocoon has been defaced with what one assumes are derogatory scribblings oh screw you cocoon we hate you not the most use useful but that's fine i'll forgive them understandable what are you, look what are you looking at oh we're heading down. Oh, no. I thought we were heading down there. All right, so we actually got... Yeah, we're at the water's edge. Can't go that way. That's fine. Let's head up this way. Oh. Even amidst this desolation, flowers and their pollinators thrive. And the region's human inhabitants appear to have vanished. Yeah, okay. I'm not that upset, but I guess it's because they... I guess Fang and Vanille are already aware that if there's anybody going to be here, it's going to be like their great, 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 like, grand nephews and nieces. It's not like... They already know their, their you know, their mum and dad and, you know, I don't think any of them have got any kids. Um, you know, they're already going to be dead and everything, so they're kind of, like, prepared for that, but... Um, Oh, okay, that's just graphics being weird. So we've got another seed stone there, but we've not unlocked it yet. We've got some treasures up here, though. Anything good, I wonder? Ah, play a... I've got I've missed the name of that. That's another Vizaz. Play these high powers. This high velocity rounds used in these pistols increase physical damage, but also create a recoil that leads the wield a vulnerable to attack paper tiger let's try and see what that says oh, okay greatly reduces uh the maximum hit points okay so it's got massive debuff on it i wonder what greatly is yeah um oh my god but you're on about 35% yeah can't you run for 30 35% of your hit points 35 I'm not good at maths obviously um book 9 of the year oh my god please uh, uh, how you do it uh, <laughs> um and it is definitely giving some more strength but not enough to justify losing most of his hit points is insane i don't know maybe it's really good when it's upgraded okay moogle puppet i believe that's just for money let's have a look a toy that says Cooper. when it's bobble is squeezed can be sold for a premium excellent entirely just to get money which I guess we will need at some point. Again, still not looked up the uh, the, the crafting guide. We should definitely look into that. 
soon. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely very deep into the game, but I can't even speculate how much more there is to do. I mean, are they going to head back up to uh, Cocoon at some point? Oh, I kind of would assume that might be the case, but we shall see. the little guys first obviously it's not always the case in this game but for the seat i think that's definitely the way to go Doesn't look like he's squirming so much. God. Thanks. their hope. Okay, I think we're right for seconds. Go on the attack. on the job not impressive so i'm hoping the final uh, piece for back to you is up here somewhere it's definitely not marked on the map i don't think we've missed anything maybe we have we do have a safe point here so oh hang gone. what's this these carts seem to have been uh, common, however. Urba. Urba. There we go. Uh, functioning both to move materials and as a mode of personal transportation. Yeah, I don't think you've got too much of an, a town to really justify the need of it. No offence. No offence. Um, okay. This is our quest marker, not related to back to. I want to save it. Uh, just in, in, for some reason, it's like forcing us on, and I've, um, you know, we missed the uh, the mini quest. Load the game back up. I think it should be alright. But so you know, you know, you never want to uh, assume. Oh, I thought one of these was a vampire, but it wasn't. Three tax sims. I would imagine that's arguably much uh, easier than um, one tax sim and a vampire. We shall see. Yeah, definitely. They don't even they don't hit that hard at all, really. Ridiculous.
I'm feeling like we've missed it. Oh no. See him. Oh, yeah, we get up here and I see a quest marker. Excellent. Just across here. There we go. You've obtained a metal plate. You now have all the parts necessary to repair Vanille's robotic power back to a metal plate. I mean, is that all? Surely we did it have to be that specific metal plate? Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> this metal plate all over the place. Never mind. That doesn't matter. So we'll get this and then we'll head back to Bacti. A flame bane brooch. Get him back in the collection. There's uh, something about that, though, isn't there? That being in a, a place where there's some, you can feel the what you know, something was going on there. The only thing that's different is the the time between you. you feel the weight of the centuries almost. I don't explain it very well. Surprise, surprise. Like, it's not just like you're just walking through like it doesn't mean anything. It has some weight to it. Oh, my God. Got a little request for you here, Hope. I request that you do not die. There we go. Little guy's down. Starting this vampire. Young Julia, are you all right? Thank you for that look. I appreciate that. I hope you're well. I hope Ash is well. Hope everything's going good for you. Ah, you're in VR chat. Excellent. Well, thank you for stopping in, regardless. Yeah, I've never tried VR chat before. Um, it seems interesting. Definitely interesting. Let me, uh,. There we go. It's relentless assault. But as long as you're right, Julia, that's all that matters. So I'm a little bit low key today. I'll start the stream like super, <laughs> super energetically, super hyped. Oh. Yeah, we've got a bit of a stop there on us. There we go. Get out of here, vampire. All right, we're coming back for you, back to you. Just trying to run away from him. He, for he forced the issue. size bar is it it's not like uh i guess it's just a standard one right which are pretty decent amount Come oh power of the universe oh, oh. dragon king slice cheesy all right there sir that's cheesy there leader of the oh my god so i'm getting yeeted over here. leader of the uh cr game room 
dropping the uh, Dragon King slice in there. Thank 200 bitties. Thank you very much, Cheese. I appreciate that, bro. How you doing? How's it going? What is going on, sir? You right? Bless you. You don't need to do that, Cheese. But well, I greatly appreciate it, sir. If you can never do anything, you just let me know. Yeah, if, guys, if you don't uh, know to see our game room, give them a little follow. They do all sorts of things. Very, very community orientated. We play lots of uh, multiplayer games and stuff. And I think, um, depending on what they're doing, you might even be able to get an invite uh, to go and play with them on a Friday. Uh, work train. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Cheese, for those bitties and that lurk, bud. I appreciate it. Yeah, you get on with work. It's, uh, yeah, it's a, th <laughs> it's a thing, isn't it? A necessary evil. But yeah, good on you, sir. So it woke me up, folks. Let me tell you that. I was nodding off. Not because uh, there's a game. This game's wonderful, but just lack of sleep. I don't know why I do that. I think it's because um, if I wake up early, I've got like stuff on my mind. I kind of. Um... Actually, I better look at my map. I'm not exactly sure I'm going now. I think it is that building there behind us yeah, i think it is um let me fight these freaky little bats first yeah liz do it do it liz oh my god I'm jelly uh that's what i, would, I need chocolate get some sugar in me that would perk me and light up um but yeah if i've got like a lot of stuff on my mind I'll kind of, uh, as soon as I wake up, even though it's early, my brain starts going off on one straight away. And so because it's doing that, this, I'm not getting back to sleep again, even though I physically need it. But it's fine. Right, we're just over the halfway point, so let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do a full stream. I don't want to, like, bitch out on you folks, but I don't want to... I don't want to give, you know. I don't want, to, I don't want the SNM show to be crap. <laughs> All right, back to you. How you doing, little bro? Back to you, will cheer me up. No, don't. Sometimes self control is good, Liz. Sometimes it's throw it out the window. Give in. Hey, hey. Look who's back. T. I'll see what you did there, Zaz. Nah, it was just a quick tune-up. <laughs> Don't mention it. Right, so you could easily have not have repaired back to you and just pressed on with the main story. So what has he done for us? Oh, congratulations. You are a true Pulsian pioneer. But somewhere out there, long-forgotten equipment still waits to be found. Bakhti's bonus bite number 10. If you climb to the 7th tier of Tajin's Tower, you will be able to rejoin all of the elevator's rail sections. Yeah, we've already done that, Bakhti. You obtain 10 vials of Deceptor Soul. Excellent. You obtain two ultra-compact reactors. That's obviously a very high tier uh, crafting material there. You obtain a gold nugget. That should be as well. A five vials of perfume, a three platinum ingots. Okay, so I think essentially, he kind of maybe keeps. Even though we get, can't see it, he's keeping a track of something. Maybe how many missions we've completed, and then he gives you stuff. Yeah, true pulsing pioneer equipment, and he gives you a little hint. Did you know? Accepting a mission from a seed stone might remove a barrier impeding your progress. Yeah, we did know that back to you. think there was anything else. So I think if you do more stuff in the game, you'll rank up and get more crafting material rewards. So worth doing. But I don't know 
how important it is in the, the grand scheme of things. Um, and if we're coming back to him, or I assume if you miss him, you can just come back here and do this little mini quest at any time. I assume so. Hey, he can't catch us. I don't want to pick out unnecessary battles. Although, uh, taking down a vampire, one shot on a vampire, would not have been a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just jelly, uh, Liz. I would, yeah, through, Capri through or not, I mean, bruh, what are we, what are we, e what are we even talking about? What are we, what's going on? Who, who do I need to fight? Just, who, who, who is it? Let me, I mean, maybe I'll eyeball them first, but. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'll give it a go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fruit and nut, good choice. Good choice. I feel like the fruit and nut is. I don't know if I'm gonna automatically say the best, but. It's like the tastiest. Sometimes I just want dairy milk without the fruit and nut. Um, so, like, suck on it. Just make. Oh God, that sounds. Uh, like, if you have a piece of chocolate, just it makes. Uh, dr drags out the gratification. I'm just chomping it down. You can't really do that with fruit and nut, though. Or just nut. They're all their own thing. And they're all valid. Let's, um. Yeah, let's turn that tide because we just sat on diversity for far too long there. While I was fantasizing about ca Cavalry's dairy milk. Um, but yeah. You can't go wrong. It's like if I had an infinite supply of only one, I would um it'd have to be fruit and nut, wouldn't it? This, you know there's no reason not to. Oh, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, Cadbury's. See, that's how endemic Cadbury's are. You say fruit and nut, I just assume you mean fruit and nut. But yeah, Aldi's. Excellent. I um, I'm not overly familiar with Aldi's, but when I lived on my own several years ago, my nearest supermarket was a Lidl, uh, which the Aldi, the Aldi's that I've been in, maybe they, they, you know they. They're somewhat similar, aren't they? Do you know, you know what I'm saying? That kind of similar vibe. And they used to do their own chocolate, which is obviously a lot cheaper. Oh my God, it's really... It was. I assume Aldi's would be very similar to Lidl's. Very, very good. Very good. God, I can almost taste it, this. Nom, 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 nom. Salivating over here. Go indeed. Is the uh, taxims getting yeeted? One way or another. That's one down. Yeah, they're not weak. They're much chunkier than the the, um, the little uh, little hands seekers and the little bats, the chonchons. But they don't seem very dangerous. I mean, we've just done a straight up fight with uh, with three of them. Two are down, and I've not need to pull any heals out yet. There you go. Third one is now staggered. Up in the air, floating around. Hmm. 
Wow, okay, that's fine. I could fight those all day long with no effort and get uh, yeah, not too much CP. But for uh, how easy it is, literally not needing to change any uh, any paradigms at all. Right, okay. So I guess if we do more stuff in the game and we come back to Bacti, we may get some extra items and things, but yeah, I don't know how necessary it is. I know like in, if you're achievement hunting the game, you do need to do it. And I have obviously done it before, but whether the in-game uh, benefit, what the in-game benefits are, I don't know. The rap of the past is better than Greg's. Yeah, it's like I say. Uh, you know, I have, I've been in Aldi's before, um, but um, never really shopped there for on a, on a regular. I did it for little and. Uh, they they sell good stuff. I'd much rather shop in the Lidl's or an Aldi's than Tesco's, than Asda's, than Morrison's. Freaking Iceland! Don't get me started on those mofo's. Uh, <laughs> um, well, the other ones, Sainsbury's. I guess it's still knocking around. Um, Waitrose. It's still a thing, I believe. Um, yeah, I'd definitely rather go to uh, Aldi or Lidl's than any of those, honestly. I want that chest, so we need to fight you, don't we? Open up the bully. Buck! Don't give a buck. How are you doing, young buck? Are you alright, bro? What's going on? Uh, I'm doing well. My energy levels are a bit all over the place. Um, I didn't get very much sleep. Uh, couldn't get back to sleep, so I just got up really early. Uh, at the start of the stream, I was uh, hype. I was, oh my god, I was full of beans. All the energy. Smashing it up. I think these guys were looking at me like I was a crazy man. Uh, now about just over halfway through the stream... And actually got into playing some games. I'm about ready to fall asleep over here. But <laughs> uh, we shall see how we go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shortchange you guys unless I really feel like I'm I can't keep going, but uh, I'm alright in a minute. Once this coffee's kicked in a bit, it'd be much better. Um Yeah the, yeah, good stuff in both those stores at least. But how you doing, Buck? Are you alright, bud? I hope you're well. I think you joined. Did you? I think I see you join in the conflux the other day. I think I was, maybe I saw you do that. We can win this. No, I've, Greg's is weird, Liz. I've never like gone to Greg's necessarily. Uh, now, when I went to Iceland, they used to sell, um, yeah, you know, like frozen versions of their their products, which were all pretty good but you know nothing nothing special the, the sausage rolls are pretty good but i don't know i feel like greg's is definitely overrated i feel and i definitely i wouldn't really ever go to greg's for like a, a pasta salad yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's just hit this with uh, light. Just get an extra boost. There you go. Oh, God, we're on diversity. What an idiot. We're not going to kill it now. Not, not this turn. No, I've already blocked. Oh, absolute scum. Oh, that's entirely my own fault there. I do apologise, folks. 
yeah i i don't mind it liz because i am a beast i'm a when it comes to food i'm an absolute beast and i will eat everything and anything find me something to eat i probably will eat it i don't it doesn't matter what it is uh <laughs> um but yeah you're right it's not the best it's really not the best i would eat them just because um i was at work there and i just was just need something quickly to eat um well bless you buck there's nothing stronger i feel than the lurk that doesn't announce itself oh taming pole that's sort of that is actually it's not a stag it's, it's fang stag lock weapon okay la di da well there could be some use for that as not what this is about but um yeah bless you buck that's that's a, that's the strongest of lurks there isn't it look at this uh this scenery that's that's, that's sun coming down with the music beautiful um cocoon so freaky um but yeah i'll appreciate that buck Definitely, sir. What a ledge. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt this. Yeah, it, it is like that, Buck. But that it, a little, I was say, a little lurk goes a long way, doesn't it? You know. I've been a little bit remiss. I've um with lurking recently i've been trying to prioritize my, my bandwidth but i think i should be able to at least drop a, a lurk on someone i was really good with it um for the past year or so i've just kind of been distracted and, and dropped off the uh the uh the wagon a little bit but yeah buck thank you for choosing the good old listening to um to drop your lurk on i do appreciate it bud if you ever need anything you just let me know uh this book appears to have controlled a railroad switch uh thoroughly rusted it would likely break if forced gonna just give it a go nope <laughs> not there's any rail there's not really any railway to speak of change is there so i don't think it really matters we're fighting you Yay, nay. Can't make up their minds. What? I thought that vampire was something else then. Oh. Oh. You've had enough, have you, Liz? How much did you have? Half of it. Go. More than half. I know, if it was me, I, I can't stop. I can't stop myself. Boom. Let's get some diversity in here. Oh, yeah, and made on chocolate. Yeah, me making my uh, assumption it was uh, dairy milk. Dairy milk's so freaking expensive nowadays. Now, I bet those bars you got uh, from uh, Aldi are. Um, I bet they're a quid each, aren't they? Some of them might, might even do like a deal, like. Uh, five for four quid or something like that um but dairy milk's like especially if it's like the fancy ones it's only like 2 250 or even three quid a bar and you're like what what are we what are we doing here Capri's what are we doing do you not have enough money they don't have enough money apparently Almost. There you go, that'll do. Oh, bless her. Oh, forgive me. And there we go. And that's, um, 
and that's you alluding yet again to the power of Yanen, the legendary status which she uh which she affo she is afforded there we go got it out of the way finally makes you sound like a spot no, everyone's situations different liz i'll be honest with you liz i don't want to bring this up too much but i also don't want to hide it i don't really have too much money at the minute myself um so i lit on my food i don't really have a choice what i get and that comes from two sources one once a fortnight i go to the food bank the local food bank and you have to give a donation of a quid and then they give you like a bunch of stuff sometimes it's a lot sometimes it's not very much uh and you never know what you're gonna get and it's all very basic you might get a box of cereal a few tins of beans uh you know a bag of pasta or something you know like dry pasta you know but you know i'm always very grateful for it um and the other you know the other source is basically my mum she's like she buys me like cheap stuff there's other places she knows we can get like cheap frozen meals and stuff so she slings me a few of those when when she can uh which technically i should i am going to pay for i just haven't paid her yet if that makes sense uh so yeah I'll, so without my mum doing that i don't know really what i'd do so god bless her heart so yeah i'll totally i totally get that liz when you've got someone like that you can like who's got your back who's looking out for you who you can rely on it means a lot so no it doesn't it doesn't make you sound like a spoiled child that's the thing your nan's gonna do her own shopping she might as well do yours at the same time it just it's just logical and your nan's gonna do that because she loves you and she cares for you you know much like my mum with me do you know what i mean it's not there's nothing wrong with it now this is interesting folks we have maxed out at least on lightning there the three main jobs so i've got sixteen thousand cp so i've got kind of two choices i can now pick a fourth roll with the light and start putting points into that or i can hang fire for a minute and see if we get the upgrade for the level five unlock which may not come until the end of the game actually uh but what i'm going to do we'll push through erba uh, and get whatever cutscenes and explanation of what is going to happen next what the what the next plan is of action and then see if that kind of maybe unlocks you know the next uh the next level of the uh the roles and if it does then we'll just stick with what we've got and if it doesn't we won't worry about it we'll I'll just pick a fourth role for each of them which we may not even put into the paradigm deck but it, at least it's getting them some more stats it's leveling them up Eroga, nice. Right, we go some more hit points. Which, uh, Hope definitely needs. And there we go, that's his roll four. So it's very curious that. How they've got different amounts of CP. So there, that that's evened out. So Hope is 9,000 points further along than Fang. And light is over 16,000 points further along. Now, for the sake of curiosity, I'm going to spend the other characters and get them all up to date with all their level, the three level fours. And kind of get a, get a rough idea of what, where we're at. What's going on? Hey, another accessory slot for Zaz there. Oh, look at that. 
Zaz has got 65,000 points spare. Why? Why has he got so many more than everybody else? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm very curious. Never mind. Moving on to snow. I need to get an extra accessory on Zaz. Don't let me forget. God, all the strength stats. My God. Of hit points as well. Ruingar. Should, should it be Ruingar? That sounds kind of cooler. Ruingar. That does sound cooler. Okay, there we go. And Snow, barely more than Fang. Left with a thousand points. Curious. Let's look at where Vanille's at. Now, she spent a lot of time with Zaz, so I wonder if they're similar. Let's find out. Blizzaga. Okay, so that's her level four there. And she's just got 11,000. I have no idea what all the characters have. So, so the wildly different amounts. So Fang's got the least. Snow's a, th a, p a, a poultry a thousand ahead of her. Then you got then Hope is next with nine, you know, not insignificant nine thousand ahead of her. Jumping over to Vanille next, who's eleven thousand ahead. A li little bit more, a little bit more than that is Light with sixteen thousand. Let me jump over to Zaz, who is 64, nearly 66,000 points ahead of Fang. I have no idea why. It's very weird. Yeah, Division of Labour is. Yeah, exactly. She cares for you, Liz. She's, um... Maybe she is spending more money on you than she's charging you for, for your groceries. But like you say, you, you, you help her out with doing various things, so it's... It all balances out, doesn't it? Accessory slot for Zaz. Almost forgot. Got, got a black belt and, and a, a freaking iron bangle. Jeez, that goes to show how long it's been since we last <laughs> last used you, Zaz. Right, a diamond bangle. Yeah, we want that. We want that on you, don't we, young Hope? Yeah, let's get the plat on him. I think we're I think that's all good. I should probably do a little save just um just as we've done all that. She's she sounds like she's well over nine thousand, Liz. Well over. God bless her. Right, here we go. Something's gonna happen. Let's find out what. Ragnarok, come day of wrath, O pulse the sea. Embrace thy fate, thine home to burn. No. That fallen souls might bear our plea. 
to hasten the divine's return. No, we don't want that. Oh, piteous wanderer, Ragnarok. Make of this day a brave epoch. Deliver the divine, Ragnarok. Sarah, how did you? I was waiting for you to open your eyes. Hmm. All the time I was asleep. Yeah, Sass is like, I don't, this is sus. I kept trying to think of a way to save Cocoon together. She is sus. Yeah, even Snow's like, nah, it's not. Yeah. There are no gods with miracles to save us. No matter where you look. That's why we have to call one. Destroy Orphan. We'll save the world. Stop it! You can't do that. You love me too much. You do, don't you, Claire? Claire? Enough already. Listen up. Shot in name. Shooting for the same goal here. <laughs> and the result of that <gasps> is this. You son of a <laughs> Scummy bartendless. You betray your foul sea to chase after dreams and shadows. The world you claim to wish to protect now faces the end of days with no hope of salvation. I didn't think Falci had the means. Oh, it won't be Falci who destroy her. For centuries now, Cocoon has provided generously for its human inhabitants every want and need. Coddled them, one might even say. The result being their deep-seated fear and hatred of change and all things alien. Fed, nurtured, and ready to detonate at the slightest spark. The seeds of destruction take root, even now. What did you do to Cocoon? I resigned, appointing Reigns as Primarch in my stead. Reigns? He's alive? Properties we strung to serve my needs. Yes, its oh. eyes had long since turned to glass. Oh. Of course, the cavalry's eyes will see our friend as nothing more than a traitor to their cause. They'll say the Falci got to him too, or some such drivel. And imagine when I spread word that it's Orphan tugging at his strings. What happens next? Uh. You're gonna use the cavalry to take the thing out? <laughs> Perhaps, or perhaps I'll feign the howling of Pulsian wolves and let the fear-addled sheep slaughter themselves first. Either way, the end is at hand. <laughs> I like the voice act, <laughs> but endless. But what of yourselves? Will you enjoy the festivities beside me? Or perhaps... Oh, here we go. Oh, Bartendless, round two. Okay, it's only a single target now, though. That's interesting. Right, leap of time. Yeah, we probably want to... Right, half from everything. That's fine. We want to be, um... Yeah, even odds. Let's have a few kills. Get some buffs. Maybe some debuffs. No, oh, it looks like we've got something on there. Right, I'll do a second Libra. Okay, yeah, we've got a uh, D protect and D shell. Okay, so we know all about it now. Okay, it's just shooting this little laser. I'm some slow on him as well. Oh. 
I've been silenced though. Okay. I need to uh, get rid of that right away. There we go. Oh, what's going on here? Alright, it's trying to a different face here. Almost snaggered him. Okay, Stormfrost is definitely going to attack now. There we go. Alright, so reasonable stacker gauge. Okay, let's go aggression. He's only at 440, but... Such strange entities are the, uh... Are the Falsy. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like they're, um... It's like a, looks like a, what is he, a giant robot there. And it's all these like, weird different body parts and faces and like, you know, it's just constantly changing. It's like, what? What are they? How did they come to be? What are they all about? Oh, stay on diversity. I'm removing all this poison and at least get everyone in the green. Let's relieve hope on medic for a bit. We're fully buffed. We've still got a slow on him. He's almost half dead and almost uh, staggered again. Let's go. Yes, Bartandless. That's his name. Maybe this fight is not supposed to be as uh, difficult as the uh, as the first one. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. I thought. Um. Oh no! Here we go. This is this is gonna hurt. Okay, but not yet. Oh, nice. Okay, we lost all our buffs. That's kind of what happened. Let's get those back. It's so weird, because they're not human, but it... It's almost like a weird uh, facsimile of what it thinks humanity is. He clearly doesn't have any respect. That's already been demonstrated. Did we get all the buffs? No, not yet. Okay, that was silly of me. Yeah, okay, even dodds. Um, yeah, it'd be nice this, wouldn't it? I'm sure Bartandless' nose is. Oof. Okay, I think that's all the buffs there, actually. Let's go. I'm a little bit hurt. Okay, let's go diversity in a second. Yours needs to be, yeah, it's roughly. It's when you, when you feel, when you don't feel good, it's the absolute worst. Let's go into some aggression. Oh, that's not what I'm meant to do. That is what I'm meant to do. Shame we've got to go combat clinic. Um, yeah, they can't even attack. We're letting this assault for a second. Yeah, keep throwing his buffs up. Uh, removing all of our buffs I keep putting up. You know what? I'm not going to worry about buffing. He's almost dead. I'm just going to gonna go on the attack. Just stagger him one more time and actually finish him. Let's say finish him. 
He seems invincible in uh, story terms. Stopped. I can find. He was like, Oi! I'll smack you in the face, bro. Yeah. Hopefully, we get him this. Well, as soon as we stack him, we should have him. But, um, again. Getting dazed. Um, well, I think we're going to get a good rating for this. It always feels like it's been way too long. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, isn't it, Liz? It's like they're such weird creatures. Cause he looks like a yeah, look at it. He looks like a giant robot or mech or something, or whatever he is. But um, no, it's not. It's not like that. There we go. Let's get combat clinic. There we go. That one doesn't hurt so much. There we go. We finish this up. So earn your place. He's checking all these weird debuffs. They're very tricky. The, uh, staying alive doesn't seem to be that difficult. What's difficult is um. It's just f finishing off the the monstrosity. Just trying to maintain in the minute. That one should be alright, but let's go we'll proper heal there for a minute. So we'll deep off, it's all over the freaking place. We got that do for a sec. Oh my god. They destroy the world that despise you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what he said. But they don't really despise us. They only despise us because based on what you've told them. So close. There we go. Finally, decent snagger now. I'm gonna build it a bit more because. Uh, better do that though. So close. Can you do it? Come on, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah. A terrible rating I'm going to achieve there. Oof. That's the wrong word, isn't it? <laughs> Not achieved. Sphinx! How you doing, young Sphinx? Are you alright? Thank you for stopping in. How's it going? So I'm a bit, uh, I'm personally a bit all over the place today. I was super high energy at the start of the stream. Now it's, uh, quite on me. Yeah, look at that. Battle time, 10 minutes 17. Target time, 10 minutes 50. So we barely got un just under the target time. Which gets you three stars. Not good. Goddess's favour, though. That sounds good. Crystarium expanded. What did I say? What did I tell you? I knew it was coming up.
You're sleepy. You sound like me, Sphinx. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm about to die. Time has come. He's not even faced. He's just like... Was he just playing with us? Allow me to extend my invitation. To save a people beyond salvation, there is only Ragnarok. <laughs> what, that owl? It's Ragnarok. Oh, it's... The uh, spaceship. Cocoon suffers. Release her from the pain. <sighs> Weird. You're off till Monday. Excellent. Good, good job, swings. But if you need to duck out in a minute and, and die, like I'm about to do, um. But yeah, thank you for stopping in. Yeah. Yes, they make. Yeah. Orag Narok. That is the one. What this? Let's look at this first. We look at that little. So he's, he's, so he's an owl that's falling around. It's turned into a ship. Saying, yo, jump in the ship, bro. So, this is the end of the rainbow, huh? Hmm. Here's hoping the pot's full of tips on dealing with crackpot Falci. Hmm. You know, I don't remember this being here before. I guess it's new, huh? Yeah, must be. I suppose it might be a record of what happened. You know, after we turned to crystal. Oh. I don't want to make such a big deal out of this one. We've used plenty of these now. Cocoon, where the slaves of Lindsay dwell, is the enemy of all life fostered by Pulse's sacred hand. So Alpha C determined Pulse's will, chose Lissy, and gave them a focus. Become Ragnarok and bring about the end of Cocoon. But we don't want to do that. And so the beast arose, defeated Lindsay's hateful Falsi, and prepared to tear Cocoon apart. But her providence betrayed our Lissi, draining Ragnarok of strength. Their focus only half complete. The Lissi were taken to the enemy's land by Bartandalus, curse his name. And the goddess said, the sea who rest upon Cocoon will reawaken, however long they may wait. Mm. And Ragnarok will rise again, to tear the land from its seat in the sky. Her word is absolute. Wow. That sounds good. Guess the jig is up. Ugh. Cocoon's done for, isn't it? Yeah, you don't sweat it. If we go ahead and smash Cocoon, you know some make us sure to roll up and save the day. <laughs> as long as Falci are around, this fight is never gonna end. So let's finish it. Let's get Dysley. So what do we do about Orphan? We help Orphan. What else can we do? If we can manage to keep it safe, another war breaks out somewhere down the road. We're Lassie. It's not like we can make people stop fighting. <sighs> Lightning, you told me on Cocoon. Hmm? It's not a question of can or can't. We just do it. That's our only choice this time. Maybe it won't do much. Maybe only one person will listen to us. But even then, isn't trying better than doing nothing? <laughs> because ripples can make waves. <laughs> okay, kids have gone crazy. Revolutionaries always get called crazy. Mm. <laughs> this is true. When I was on Cocoon, I wished on those fireworks. I wished 
Do not let anything happen to Cocoon this time. But I shouldn't have wished for that. <laughs> Wishes aren't enough. Prayers either. This time I'm making a promise. I will keep Cocoon safe. I promise. No matter what. Well, I guess it takes losing everything to make you see how much you have to fight for. Huh. And we're the only ones who can do it. Right? Right. <laughs> right. Yep. All right, then. Let's tie up loose ends. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sphinx. It's getting distracted by the uh, cutscene there. Let me get this uh, hydration for you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, did that actually do anything of note? Wow. We got like 100k CP for defeating Bartandalus there. Um... So I guess I'll spend that. Now, the nodes on level 5 are going to be hella expensive. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any extra stuff necessarily. I guess we should prioritize abilities. So you look at Commando. Taking uh, Light's Commander all the way to level 5. She's no extra abilities. It's just literally pure stats, which obviously we need. A Ravager's got two new abilities to learn. And her Medic's got one new ability. So I think we should... This is counterintuitive. We'll put Medic before a Commando. So arguably having new, better, different abilities is arguably more important than uh, straight up stats. We shall see, though. But definitely start on a Ravager, first and foremost. God, yeah, it's like 20k each one of these nodes. My God, but some chunky, uh, chunky stats though. Thundaga, perfect. Army of One. Unleash a devastating flurry of blows. Chain bonus effect varies by situation. Uh, that sounds interesting. I don't know how. It's basically just making it much better. That's all we've got. <laughs> That's all we're going to get. Right. Let's have a look at Fang. Get an idea what we're doing with her. Right. One ability on her commando. One ability on her sentinel. And two abilities on a saboteur. Okay, so we... Oh, hang on. Sentinel is not even all the way out there yet. Okay, let's unlock her level four. Because that's actually going to give us the... <laughs> the actual truth of what's going on with her character. There we go. Now, if we look at it. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Still one new ability. We've got level four. So, yeah, we've got Commando, Saboteur, Sentinel. Yeah, 48 strength. Expensive. But, uh... Chunky. Chunky stat bonuses. Okay, 
Okay, so one ability on Ravager for him. Two on Synergist. And one on Medic. Okay, let's go Medic first. It's hard to go wrong with Medic, medic goodness. Uh, getting him Kiraja there. Nice. So let's get on the Synergist next. Let's mix it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, and I will spend the points on the other characters. Just to kind of figure out what I'm doing with them. What pro what is better to prioritise. So one ability on this Commando. One on Ravager. And three on Synergist. Okay, so let's get that Ravager ability. Whatever that may be. Cold blood. Unleash a devastating volley of gunfire. Oh, is that his the equivalent for his army of one? Chain bonus effects for I think it's just overall making them better at everything. Okay, so we'll switch to uh that's a synergist. Momentarily. Oh, there we go. Protecting shell. It's taking him all the way to the end to get them. So I bet um I bet Hope will get haste, which he's been too really lacking towards the end of his synergist tree. Right, let's have a look at snow. So one ability on commando, three on Ravager, and nothing specifically on Sentinel. Even that's like his main job, you could say. Let's push his Ravager for a moment, try and learn these three abilities. The Zaga. Perfect. Or Turgo there. Too, too expensive. Come back to it. And uh, Vanille. Right, nothing for Ravager, just stats. One ability on Saboteur and one ability on Medic. Let's just get the Medic ability. see it all over here but I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not pick up nodes as we go along anyway so what something things have unlocked back here so this looks like we're flying this back we've we've, we've done our time down on Grand Pulse but there's, there's loads of missions down here we haven't done I'm going to assume that even if we take this spaceship back up there, that we can use the teleports to get back down here. Are you sure you want to go there now? Um, you know what? Let's not just yet. Um, let's put out the map. How far back here do we have to go? Maybe on the other side of Erba. Even though it's given us that warning, I bet anything we can still head back this way. We're through, through, not through the spaceship, but through... Uh, going through jumping through the seat stone teleporters. I bet there's some up on pulse there. I bet you anything. Even if we were chasing shadows, our minds were made up. We'd realized along the way that choice was the only thing we had left. Hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. That's true. 
That's all we can hope for. The graphics, though. What a staggeringly good. No one seems to talk about it. Whoa. Final Fantasy 13, that sucks. Uh, would you like to save? Um, yes. Let's just save for us. Before, uh. Like, if we load that save up, it's going to be putting us in. We should be better if it asked us if we wanted to save before we are uh, stepped in. Here we go. Reigns. He's dead. He's been reanimated. He's a zombie, basically, for all intents and purposes. Working for Martandlus against his will. You're yeah. Right. Aren't they? It is time. The people await your address. I'm not giving my address out to anyone. Uh, sorry. That was terrible. Not that kind of address it is. Idiot. And so we greet the new dawn. I swear to God. I do apologize. Oh, hello. <laughs> a bit distracting. Nothing for a race. Why are they doing that? I don't know that there's any reason they're doing that. Because it looks good on the, on the cutscene, I guess. <laughs> Is the reason. Well, that's cool. So denying that. Why has he got a mic on him? I guess it's on their, uh... Probably should have covered that. Lol. Oh dear. God's visual feast, so cinematic. I don't remember it being this good. Let's go. Less jaded, like more like engaging when I'm watching it with you guys. 
Like if you paint on your own, you can kind of just like let it wash over you, maybe. Oh, what's going on here? I'm in battle now. Um. Oh. I think we're we trying to stagger it, maybe. Oh, yes, got the stagger. And there we go. And we go for the sand set again. I think that's what we're supposed to do. I hope we got this right. Until next time. Yes. That's what you're supposed to do. Excellent. Perfect. Good job, Light. And, and Odin. Cordial Snail! How you doing, bro? Are you alright? Thank you for uh, dropping that follow. Give you a little shout out. She's basically a Valkyrie. Sphinx, yeah. Yeah, she's nothing like that, isn't this? Look at it. Cordial Snail! How you doing, bro? What's going on? How's life treating you? Hey, are you alright? I'm glad you're back on Twitch. Are you just planning on streaming again? Or are you just hanging out? Either way, thank you for joining the uh, Conflux and everything. It's incredible. Are you a fan of this game, Cordial? It's nuts. This is like, I think this was back in 2013. And it's probably like the best graphics I've ever seen in the game. It's... It's almost so much happening that you like... It's too much for you to look at. Okay, so we've got Seath and just random pulse creatures just turning up. The Enderman toys. Dude, well, if you need them, if any advice or help with anything. So, I kind of uh, fell off the face of the earth, buddy. We were, we were worried about you, Cordial. Do you know what I mean? We were like, is, is Cordial all right? But you are right. Now you're right. It's a pulse invasion force. Even if maybe you weren't at the Tom. Your eminence, we must evacuate. Yeah, a lot of people did skip it. A lot of people tried it and they just it wasn't their uh their liking. So rains. But you're back and you're all right, cordial, that's what matters. But if you if you need anything, just get me, buddy. You know how to go with me. And, and he did. Seemingly, someone did. Yeah. Well, he's already a zombie, so it's not. It can make so much difference. It's usually how it goes, bro. This is basically so. We're like very, not very near the end, but this is like the beginning of the end of the story we've kind of walked into just now. So we're not completing it today. And there's still like loads of kind of side stuff I've skipped out on. stops right here we're the ones who decide what happens next let's get moving right okay yes agreed agreed for neil but uh let's see where we're at what's going on here we are all sorts of things. Vaguely heading in that direction. But as it's an RPG, you know what that means, don't you? 
guess we're going back the other way. That's right, we are. 26k. If we're doing what? Just arriving here. Right, okay, let's uh let's get to it. I see not a thing in this direction. If my eyesight's good enough to pick up a spotting treasure chest in the distance. Oh, it's got us going on here. What kind of party is this we've got? I don't know about this. A battle team. Get out of here, Snow. And for Neil, I, I love you, but no. And then we've got to change it, rebuild our bloody um paradigm deck again. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay, so we want some um. A let's just. I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in uh most games most things in life um and um definitely jrpgs and definitely final fantasy and definitely this game if it isn't broke don't try to fix it if it isn't broken broke broken if it isn't yeah i guess broken is working if it isn't broken don't try to fix it so we're just going to build the same paradigm deck we've been using for the last kind of 40 percent of the game um and see you know and if if i need to rebuild it because it's really not working for us then we'll we'll take it from there but for now let's do that so we want some uh diversity there we go perfect uh we want some bully there we go and we shall also go for some okay even dodds it's worked for us up until this point and so i want to give it a guy <laughs> breaked brock brocked if it ain't brooked if it ain't bloody brooked don't be trying to fix it because it, it ain't brooked it ain't bracket. It ain't. <laughs> is it, how was it doing? Is it fixed? Nah, it's bracket. It's right, brecked. <laughs> anyway, enough of that nonsense. Uh, <laughs> um, got I, guys. I got about just over an hour left. There we go. Get about to me. I need to pee. That coffee is has perked me up a little bit. I'm, I can. Uh, I'm. I'm pleased to report, but um, I do need to go and empty off. So um, let's just hit this. Do a little save. I called a seath flying around, and we'll uh, we'll push push the story forward for an hour. Um, so we've got our save there. That's our last save back on down on Grand Pulse. That's our auto save just before we start that giant cutscene. So we're already going to need that again. Uh, so let's do a save here and if we can't go back i'm sure you can i'm fairly positive just do a research i'm fairly positive though that you can take it right up to like the final just the save point just before the final boss the final boss fight and backtrack if we feel the need to i don't i'm not sure how i'm uh feeling about it. liz no worries you could take care of what you want let me have a look Tr research time let's have a look shall we uh final fantasy a 13 point what is what? come up straight away of it's trying to give me final fantasy 12 clan points point of no return it should be such an obvious term but i am technically using my uh, bing as a search engine and it's ridiculous um in final fantasy 13 the point of no return is in the 
Narthex of Orphan's Cradle. Ooh. I've not been there yet. Um, upon approaching it, Lightning will announce, let's do this, and the door will open. Passing through the door, there's a point of no return. Um... There we go, and uh, going on the uh, game FAQs message boards because you know that was a bit jargony, not jargony. It was to the point, but it wasn't like uh, it wasn't real people. It was whoever a bot, the internet telling us, but real people on the message boards. Um, it says in chapter thirteen. Okay, so on chapter twelve, we've got one more chapter for sure, uh, where I cannot go back to Grant. Grand Pulse. It's actually Grand Pulse, mate. Mosk. Call you out on the internet 11 years ago. I'm not judging. Uh, never. You can always return to Grand Pulse. I don't want to beat the game. Then return to Grand Pulse. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Now, someone did mention this previously. The la the final level of um, your Crystarium expansion, presumably level 6, because we're working on getting to level 5 now, um, that only unlocks after you complete the game. And then, once you've unlocked that, you've seen the cutscenes. Oh, you've completed the game. It puts you right back before the boss fight, if you want to go and tidy up and do things. I can say for certain we're not going to do that. If we are going to do extra stuff in the game, like try and do some more of the missions back down on Grand Pulse, which we may very well. I like the idea of that. I've enjoyed what we've done so far. We're not going to... It, well, the point that we go and fight the final boss and see the final cutscenes and get, you know, the legendary Final Fantasy music, and it's like, you know, thank you for playing. Game over. The end. Congratulations. You completed the game. That's the end of the game, regardless of how much we play. Um, game. Game far Q. Far Q. Really? Anybody else went away on that? Is that cordial? You think so as well? Oh, I got you. F Sick Mick, fuck you, son. You get, I'll, I'll fuck you when I get my hands on you. <laughs> you, yeah, you got me there. I'm gonna get you though. Wait till I get. <laughs> You're a sharp one, aren't you? You're a sharp one, aren't you, son? I mean, dad. Anyway. 60 second break now before we move on for an hour. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I would love it if you just burst out and you and your colleagues are like, what's, what's Snake Mick laughing about? And he's like, I'm doing work. I'm doing work. It's very amusing work. <laughs> Perfect. Bear with me, my lovelies. I'll, uh, I'll be but 60 seconds.
No, I sort of keep running there, folks. What's going on, Liz? Came out, your uncle came out from the chippy. Excellent. Oh, damn, that's what he's brought for you. God damn. That sounds bloody fantastic. Thank you, Sphinx. Oh my God, I could go for fish and chips and mushy peas right now. I've got mushy peas. I just don't really have too much to go for them. Oh my God, I'm getting hungry now. I've got to last an hour. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. You know me, I don't... Nothing's uh, nothing's gonna be holding me back. I should feel a little bit better. <laughs> Least favorite thing, cordial. I don't. I don't. No, I don't have any issues with it, cordial. That's a problem. It's not a problem. Um. Uh, it's what some would say criticisms are. I um. It doesn't really bother me too much. I'll say this. It's very streamlined in both not just the combat which is a, a good thing but like in terms of like side quests and exploration there's not too many different things you can do or um or places you can go it's kind of just you go just go forward just what, what are you doing you're walking forward that's what you're doing okay off you go um which to uh some people didn't like that like for example like the, the stores are at this at the save point there are no separate stores um this there's not too everything's very streamlined some people don't like that it doesn't bother me i'll just say there's a different way of doing things um ask garuda e garuda cordial ask garuda He's, uh, he's, uh, he's good. He's really recently played this. He might have a better opinion on it than me. Um, yeah, sometimes it, you actually, you feel good just eating more than you need. I feel Liz. Lionheart sword. Hello. That sounds good. Quick stagger. Well, that sounds like a nice bonus, which is. Let's see. Once the weapon of uh, the sea, this gun blade allows instant staggering of enemies near. Okay, so anyone. Well, what does near mean? I don't know. Um. Oh, ATB advantage item scavenger. Okay, so the Axis Blade is giving us ATB charge. Very slightly recharges ATB gauge each time an enemy is attacked. Versus the quick stagger. Cordial! What are you doing, bro? You don't need to do that. I did see that little blue chocolate. I was like, did someone just gift Cordial a, a sub there? But no, you did it yourself, bro. Called you. Not, you need to do that, buddy. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just pleased you're back, bud, and you're all right. At the least, you're hanging in there. Garuda, how are you doing, bud? Are you all right? Thank you for joining our conflux. I'm glad you're in there. Uh, that's yeah. Good point. Good point. That's some good th uh, points there, Sleep Mick. The story is a, does meander a bit, and have like a uh, brief. Uh, intense moments of action and then there's like quite slow drawn out sections long sections um and there are no super bosses are there there's just do you want to do a crazy amount of grind to max out or go for the achievements that seems to be it um bless you cordial i appreciate it it's not fish it's scallop oh my god liz 
Jeez. I don't... I feel like your nan maybe doesn't need another grandchild. <laughs> well, I know, I know the fish and chips from your uncle, but you know what I'm saying. Um, you're doing all right in general. Under the weather. Yeah, Liz is feeling awful as well. Gary, do is there anything particular? I'm just not feeling it. Bro, I'm... I didn't get... Uh, anywhere near enough sleep last night i just woke up early and if my mind is just on stuff there's no way i'm getting back to sleep so i just got up just started going about my day we started stream nice and early on on time which is basically early for us <laughs> um i was super like high energy at the start of the stream now as the stream's gone on i'm like oh i'm ready for food and bed oh is it something I didn't get food. Give yourself food poisoning, did you, Gruda? Yeah, my God. You know it, sleep, mate. Trying to salivate over it. Um, get yeah, Gruda, what's your opinion? Quick stagger. How effective is it? I mean, if it's like 1% away from the stagger gauge, you make, if it's like the case of one Ravager attack one ravager spell then it's like well what difference does it make but if it's like 10 percent that's pretty amazing so we definitely want that but we are losing the atb charge very slightly recharges the atb every time an enemy is attacked so i reckon of her five uh, a to B gauge attack, a five, a five chain attack. You probably she's getting like about one s section. So it's kind of in essence like an inherent haste. It all depends on how effective that quick stagger ability is. Well, uh, dude, I hope you feel better soon. no fair what would my in on face value having the uh 80 attack atv charge seems like a better option than the quick stagger but my instinct is screaming at me i should switch thin because we found it needs towards the end of the game and it's called lion heart which sounds more hero -y than <laughs> Uh, the lion heart is that not the name of um, school's ultimate gunblade sword I feel like we should give it a go if it doesn't seem that good we'll, we'll see it in effect in in in, in, uh, in practice how good it is won't we and then we'll take it from there and if it doesn't seem that great it could be incredible so we should probably find out is what I'm saying oh we can't go that way okay bang excuse me Need to come back on ourselves a little bit. Hey, all right there, big boy. A ball worker. You're getting staggered, bro. All oh, right, another round of oh, the Jaya. All the question marks. Quickly. To Pretty wasting time doing that, but oh no, or maybe not. Come on, ladies. There we go. Okay, we didn't finish him off in his stagger, but one hit away at the end. There we go. Nice five stars. Chobham armor. Oi, some nice Chobham armor you got there. I mean, that's what they called it. <laughs> uh, right, I just want to backtrack this way. I think. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Nine thousand gil. I will not say no to that. That's I don't know if a choice, but <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I really can't go that way. So I guess we're going back around this way. Oh, fang. 
I'm not saying I, I dislike bumping into you, but there's a time and a place, you know? And now, it's, it's neither the time nor the place. Yeah, the Lionheart is schools, isn't it, Sphinx? Uh, okay, yes, or, yeah, this. or Richard the Lionheart, indeed. Uh, Hell yeah. We, fly, we can jump. Huh? Uh, what are you? Nothing to it! Uh, See you ground side. Uh, You're all crazy! Don't want to get left behind, do you? Uh, Just remember, don't drop the gizmo. Uh, She would drop the gizmo. No, she didn't. That's right. She wouldn't kill Vanille at this stage. <laughs> Yeah, I've, killed, I've beaten them all. Nah, I mean, it seems pretty intense, Greedo. Let's hope so, Liz. Yeah, 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 Zaz. He has a baby uh, chocobo in his hair for. It's not really explained why at any point, but it's, uh, so that's cool. That's cool. We'll go with it. We, we, we're going to go with it. <laughs> What was I uh, working on? Yeah, trying to get the abilities first, aren't we? God, it's taking so many points at this level. Worth the upgrade, so. There we go. You know, it just didn't look like much, did it? That's like 60 extra magic stat for hope there. I mean, it's not. It's not to be sniffed at. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's. Uh, that's facilitated your uh, feasting, your forced, <laughs> your forced feeding there, Liz. Maybe. Liz. God bless. I respect that a lot. That's amazing. Poor Stuart. Uh, not too dangerous. I'm not taking too lightly though. 
Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Staggered and gone. Let's take the other one. We'll take the uh, the bigger boy. Give me um. Just do a little Libra. Not really matters. We've already learned half of this uh, resistances. I feel. Yeah. There we go. You know, it's never bad to get a bit more information. And uh, no, if this if these were the last ones we we're gonna fight, oh bother! But they're clearly gonna be fighting a, a bunch more of these uh, soldiers, aren't we? Sanctum Archangel. It doesn't say too much about him, there, does it? Rentless assault, me thinks. Liz, that's so freaking cool. That's really, really, really cool. Adam and Therans. Okay. Chunky boys. Weak to uh, ice and water. Uh, resistance to a fire and lightning, though. That should hopefully help us a little bit. Clearly going to need to switch some diversity in a second. Let's worry about that in a second. Okay, that's one down. Oh, now, now is the time. Could have been done, done a, a second before, but it's, it's, not, it's not, yeah, it's not a problem. Not too much of an issue. There we go. Down to the final one. Back to Relentless Assault. Yeah, isn't it, Sphinx? That's amazing. You feel like you don't deserve it. Like, don't, don't you worry yourself with that, Liz. It is what it is. Everyone's situation is different. As long as you're grateful, that's what it matters. Don't ever feel like just because you've got really blessed that you don't deserve it. It's a thing, Liz. Nobody deserves anything. Life is just going to give you what life's going to give you. And you decide what you do with that and how you feel about it. Now, I'd say you wouldn't deserve it if you were a bitch about it. If you treated Nan like, you know, like took her for granted. But I know, I know you. I know you don't. You're grateful. You're thankful. Therefore, you deserve it. Because you, are, you genuinely are thankful for it. Does that make sense? That's what I think, anyway. And you know, I'm practically a goddamn genius. Or something. Let's, let's pretend. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got another big boy. Let's obviously deal with the little guys first, but they're pretty tough. Honestly. Diversity. Let's sit in this for a minute. So, you know, we didn't just expire. What is that little thing? Can I be attacking that? Joel! Oh, uh, I know you can't stay, Joel, because you've got it. You're pretty busy at work, aren't you? Bless you, Joel. Thank you for those bees. I, I saw you posted some stuff um, in uh, our council section. I have not uh, had a ch chance to look at it yet. Uh, sorry. Can't even see probably down there. Cat, nav. Sorry. Katna Vat Vatia. Katna Vatia. Katna Vatia. There we go. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it greatly. I want to call you Cat. Oh, sorry, Cat. Oh, in my 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 accent. Cat. Right, Cat. How you doing? Uh, 
Welcome in, Cat. Thank you so much for the follow. Are you a fan of Final Fantasy 13? If so, you have excellent taste. Uh, Joel. Yeah, look, it's Cordial. Cordial's here. Um, cram, cram, cram that working. That's a problem. Joel works hard all the time. Uh, but uh, he's, he's basically... He cl washes windows, cleans windows. So obviously, if it's awful weather, he can't work. So especially this time of year, when he's got good weather, he needs to, like, get on it. Joel, I respect you so much for your work ethic, bro. You don't... You sack... You won't even think about it like this, Joel. You might... I don't know. Maybe you have thought about it. What you're doing, dude, and what you have been doing for, like, the past six months or more, past year, you've been... sacrificing the present for the sake of the future. You know it needs to be done, and you get it done. And, dude, it was so good to see you at the weekend on your stream. See you back up and at it. And, dude, your... <laughs> your trailer for the Conflux. I was dying over here. I could not stop laughing. It was like... It was almost like... Kind of like... A, a, a wheezing hiccupy kind of like I was like <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, for like five minutes I was just it was ridiculous you ledge anyway cat welcome in cat um sorry I just chuckled my buddy Joel there um you don't work hard all the time you gotta take some time off but um your second favorite behind 10 excellent yeah 10 is wonderful isn't it but you've got some good taste there, Cat, because um, you, you're probably aware, like I'm. 13 gets uh, a, a bad rap. A lot of people hate on 13, even other hardcore Final Fantasy fans. And it's my belief that they're a bit silly and they haven't given it its due. You haven't given it enough time. It's an excellent game. Yes, it's very streamlined. Yes, it's very different. But it's a fantastic game. And I will tell you this, Cat. Um, well, firstly, I'll introduce myself. My name is Isnib. That's weird. Just call me Is. Everyone calls me Is. You call me. That's. Yeah, you're more than welcome here, buddy. Um, and yeah, 10 is up there, isn't it? But um, 13 is also excellent. Uh, now, we're playing 13 today because it's an excellent game. But we're mostly playing 13 because we have played through the entirety of the Final Fantasy series here on the Isnib show. Uh, we started the first. Final Fantasy back about 18 months ago now and we are powering through we're still we're chonking away um Joel check this out just so you know come power of the universe ha! dragon king slice dragon king slice for you there Joel it's been a while since we dropped one of those. Appreciate it, bud. That's very, uh, that's very, very generous of you. Some people would like to save their points for any other things, but why not? Thank you for the lurk, Joel. So yeah, I hope I'm not scared you off with that, cat. But um, <laughs> yes, thirteen uh, to two as well. Yeah, e even more niche, isn't it? E even within some people who will gladly give thirteen a go. They're like, yeah, 13's all right, but ah, screw those sequels. We're going to be playing them all after we've completed this. We're quite deep into this now. We will be doing 13-2, and we will be doing 13-3, which is the one that I remember the least, and I think maybe it's potentially the weakest of the trilogy. But it's part of the series, so we're going to be doing it anyway. And then finally, once we've got through the 13 trilogy, Cat, uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts on 15? We will be playing 15. Uh, we will be watching um, King's Glaive in the Discord uh, together before we play that. And it's my very first playthrough of uh, 15. I know nothing about it. I've got a vague idea of what's going on in the game. Just because it's hard to miss. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So welcome in, Kat. Uh, we're, I'm here most of the week. Uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, if you want to see 13 and 13 too specifically. Um... Yes, good question there, Garuda. Yes, I do, absolutely. Final Fantasy IV is one of the best Final Fantasies. Um, 
and the after years is a direct whether you like it or not whether you think about the gameplay it's a, the story it's a direct sequel absolutely it i consider it part of the main series uh little trivia point though garuda i didn't even know it existed until we'd already started our pl play through the series someone mentioned it to me i was like oh as a sequel does it well but we we're gonna play it then aren't we and we did and it's it's excellent it's not as good yes it's not as good as the the first part obviously of course it's not but it was yeah it was still good i recommend it oh yeah 15 you yeah he liked it he never finished it yeah a fair cat a fair yeah well feel free to hang around uh we are we do only have about 30 40 minutes of the day stream left but we will be back at the same time tomorrow so you're more than welcome to uh come and hang out whenever you like i'm all around at the weekends as well doing various things not necessarily the final fantasy series but i'm always i'm always here and i'm always doing something so welcome on in cat and again thank you for the follow i appreciate it um so yeah let's figure out what i'm doing now okay i'm trying to get these soldiers done what is that little thing there can i attack that and should i be attacking that now targeting beacon yeah let's get that out of the way i want that there okay we won't fight the, the robot first we'll uh go back to taking the uh, soldier out first so yeah do you have the favorite characters in this cat like story or uh, or gameplay wise i've been using um light fang and uh, hope as my main team not because i necessarily they are my favorite characters i like all six of the characters um but more because uh, i feel their roles kind of uh, work together and complement each other uh, very well you know you've got a sentinel in there if you need it um you've got the saboteur as well like if we had if we switched out fang and went for snow we wouldn't have a saboteur that's no good is it if we um okay i think it did a few percentage there i'm not really sure on a a lion heart blade i'm not sure how i feel about the look of it the shape of it, it looks a bit weird no i don't really like it honestly it looks jank the lion heart blade looks jank never mind i'll try not to look at it uh, <laughs> we'll stick with it for now at least um yeah and i mean another option would be if you switched out hope and put vanille in but then you're going to have so you've still got your uh, extra um medic your second medic there um but you then you've not got a synergist and you've got two uh unless you know you got two saboteurs when i feel like you only really need one so I'd, you know overall i feel like this combination of three characters kind of covered all the bases for my how i set up my paradigms my play style Oh, sorry, Cat. Have I played Mass Effect? No, I've not played Mass Effect, actually. In the technical sense, I may have played, like, a little bit of the first one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with the Dragon Age series. And I guess Mass Effect is the sci-fi version. That's definitely on the long Cat, list, is Mass to, uh... Effect. They're here for Orphan. Can't promise when I get to it, though. If it's close to the Falci Eden, they're probably... Oh, Kamari's the, the weakest character thing. in 10, unfortunately. Right. And if they destroy it, bad things are going to happen. And Rico, you have to take the time so to build her up. Then we better get there before they do. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh, we could go on here. Oh my god, lightning is such a badass. Oh, in the cutscene, he'd already still up. But yeah, no, it's interesting, isn't it? So um, with 10, Cat, and I assume you, your assessment would be the same, if anyone's unaware, uh, all the characters in it are great, story perspective. And they're all kind of built into various archetypes. Apart from Kamari, Kamari just kind of does a little bit of everything. 
But the way that Final Fantasy X works, he doesn't really make him that useful. Because you've got all your other characters can cover all the other have the strengths in one particular thing. So you're left with Kamari and you're like, what what are you about doing about, bro? What's what are you about? Uh by the time you get Riku, she's like the last character to join your team properly. And she's very she's good. In fact she's very good. Um I she's part of my like main three in the in the end of the game. But by the time you get her, she's kind of behind. So if you've already got used to using the other characters and you're like, well, I don't want to switch in this new character who's not as good as my current characters, she can definitely get left behind. That is true. That is very true, Cat. Absolute must. And you're not the only person who says that, Cat. I've heard many other people say that. So, like I say, I can't necessarily offer any guarantees. But definitely... It's on my long list of games that, and series. Because I've got, I've got all the Mass Effect. All, all of them. Well, I guess I've got more on Game Pass. But physically, I own the Mass Effect's Mass Effect trilogy. If not... Uh, is it Andromeda? The fourth one? Um, which I think is, like I say, is on, mass, is on uh, Game Pass anyway. So that wouldn't necessarily be any, too much of an issue. Uh, but... Um, yeah, something that we will probably come come to in the future. I'd be shocked if we don't. All right, let's have a look at the Behemoth King. Absorbs Thunder. Let's not use that then. And it's immune to wind. Right, fire, ice, and water all the way then. Let's get some buffs. We're going to need it for this big boy. Practically a mini boss we we'll walk into here. Although, uh, we did fight some of these down on Grand Pulse, but I think these were the ones we could not quite defeat. Right, you got any more buffs for us there? Yeah. I think that's one more you've got for us there. Hope, isn't it? And one more. There we go. It's time for us to go on the attack. And plenty of... Oh my god. He's squishy. It's like super squishy. Is this just kind of to show us how far we've come come in the game? How far along we've come? Oh god, I just didn't get him in time. Oh no, I did. He was just about to heal himself there. Wow, okay. Cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Ah, yeah, that is one benefit of Kamari Cat, is that you can kind of choose how you want to build him. You can, yeah, you've basically got a choice of whose uh, pat on the uh, sphere grid you want to send him down. So you can build him, you can have him as an extra whatever. But if you, like you say, if you make him a black mage, fine. He's just never going to be as good of a black mage as Lulu is. You know, you can make him a white mage, fine, excellent, more heals. But he's never going to be as good of a white mage as, as Yuna is, comparatively. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... I never know what to do with him. But yeah, when his fight comes up. But um, when we when we played through it, Cat, we did a 100% playthrough. So we were like over-leveled every step of the way, honestly. So it wasn't really too much of an issue. But if you're just whipping through the game, you do have to be conscious of it, you sh for sure. Um, oh, okay, so it's an additional game set in the same universe, but it's not part of the same storyline so it's the mass effect trilogy we want to be looking at excellent cat damn liz yeah that's pretty uh that's something isn't it um do, need to do a save right i don't want to worry about it only a 60 hours how many time we've got half an hour let's keep pushing forward guys we've got this God, no, I do not like the look of that sword. What are you going to do, eh? Again, we'll stick with it for a minute. So it looks like when it's got like a certain uh, small percentage chance... It 
is when it activates. Which for, you know, normal crappy enemies, it's probably not like these guys. It's probably it's like whatever. It's not too much of an issue. Um... Okay, so it seems to be like it needs to be like maybe three, no more than three percent away, and it might trigger. Um, but that's the thing. For these, it doesn't matter. That's whatever. But if it's talking about a super tough boss where you're struggling to get it staggered, it may be very, very useful. So we'll just, even though it looks jank, we'll just stick with it for now. Um, you're off, are you, Sphinx? Bless you. Yeah, hell yeah. We will have fun. Take care, Sphinx. Thank you so much for stopping in, my dear. I appreciate it. You can get some good rest. I'm going to be getting some myself here soon. I'm ready for it, honestly. You got them so angry. <laughs> um. We pay a little bit of attention here. Um. Oh, you lost your Kindle? Jeez. Cat. Um. I've I've never owned a Kindle, but um I've heard they're excellent. And our our Liz here, she's uh probably the, the biggest reader I've ever uh, I've ever met. And I used to work in a library. For over 10 years so that's that's saying something isn't it um yeah so absolute ledge but swing so thank you so much for being here my dear if you ever need anything you know where to go with me yeah liz what are you gonna do when you've you've got your uh you've passed your test and you are you gonna be are you gonna be driving to work i assume liz and are you going to listen to audiobooks in your car? I bet you are, aren't you? I shouldn't make assumptions, but... Also, I bet you are. <laughs> this is a hacking of weird looking. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I think some strange noises as well. And they're pretty slow off the... Uh, the uptake as well. They kind of seem to be stood there getting a the beat down for the most part. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them uh, up close, cat. I just never, uh, I just never got one. They are chunky boys, these sagging, but they're not dangerous at all. This is just like a challenge to try and kill them as quickly as you can. Which for me is not that quick. Okay, this could be interesting. Got three of them plus a bear air moth king. This is uh gonna get interesting. I wonder if I should be going for him first. Just no idea. We need some of this though. Because we're about to get yeeted. Otherwise. Yeah, perfect, Liz. Perfect. Of course she will. I'm so I'm so pleased for you. Wait. When did you say you, you put your exam back to? It was like three, up to April. I'm still pissed off about that. No idea why they'd do that to you. It seems a bit harsh to me. Not really offering a proper explanation as well. Oof. Oh my god. We've got to, uh. Yeah, combat clinic. It's not going good. Let's fix up, look sharp. 
There we go. I, I, I. Twenty second of April. So, so annoyed just to think they'd. Uh, if only they'd kind of not done that. You'd. You know, you could be zooming around by now. Oh, actually, it wasn't that. Wasn't that soon, was it? I can't remember the, the initial date. He said, "I do apologise." This. Oh, it was the day before, wasn't it? Yes, it was the uh, the other week. Idiots. Um. Okay, let's go. Relentless assault. Let's look fairly healthy at the moment. Um. The whole thing's nuts, but. Uh, At least, uh, you know, it's, you get it done. Yeah, night before. Yeah, cat. Uh, Liz has been like learning to drive uh, for like the past little while, and she had a test booked, and they cancelled on it the day before. That's what I don't. That's the part I don't get. Liz. the examiner was no longer available. Okay, why? For, for what reason? What 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 ha what came up? What happened? Why was the examiner no longer available? P family emergency? Okay, tell us, tell us that. You don't need to tell us the details of it, but just like no proper explanation. Just oh yeah, sorry, not not available anymore. Okay, he's going to heal up, isn't he? Cheeky swine. That's unfortunate. He's halfway staggered, though. Da no, he's got, I was going to say, I wonder if we could do this before he attacks. No, is the answer. <laughs> Absolutely not, in fact. Smartsy brain! Young Smartsy. How you doing? Are you alright? I should die. Or what's been going on? Let's get the uh, medic in for a second. Boom! Yeah. Needed it, didn't I? Whenever you're ready, young Cope. Let's get those heals. Thank you. Weird. This stagger gauge is so chunky. It's ch this stagger gauge is chunkier than his hit points. Oof, there we go. This is about to get whackers around the face. <laughs> well, bless you, Liz. I just... Stuff like that bothers me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm your friend, I'm bothered for you. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, oi! What are you doing to my buddy, Liz? You look at... Are you... Are you having a bubble? You having a bubble, gaze? <laughs> but it's fine. More importantly, young smartsy. How you doing? You white. Right. I didn't even know it's all picked up there. I don't even know the math. It's just blue. Crafting material I don't really need at the moment. I've done time. We've got 20 minutes. Thankfully, I've perked up a little bit towards the end here. And in fact, look, if we get to a convenient spot we might just finish in a little bit early like right, that's the thing because i woke up early today i just just think i don't think like oh let's hang around and do nothing for a minute i'm like well let's i'm very much i have my breakfast as soon as i wake up even if it's early so i've kind of eaten uh, a little bit I say a little bit, probably about four hours earlier than I would have usually. So, I'm, oh my God, I'm hungry, hungry. Let's get some aggression up in here. Already up over five hundred. There we go. See you later, giant flying lizard.
Yeah, well, you know. It's a thought that counts, isn't it, Liz? Yeah, and you've got your little panda ready to go. That's what matters. It's when it comes around, it'll all be worth it. That's the way I see it. It's just I hate best laid plans getting turned upside down. If it's not like a good reason. I don't even mind if it, the reason's not very good. It's just if, if they told you in a little bit of detail like what the issue was. But just to not, I'd rubbish me in the wrong way. That's all. Well, I thought it was a group of four of these earlier and they weren't too much of an issue, so... I don't really see how two of these uh, adamantherons are going to put up too much of a, a bat, you know, too much of a resistance. Never mind. A little bit of ECCP. You know what? I'm noticing the slowdown on uh, lights. Uh, it's taking uh, more time to do stuff. I'm going to switch back in the uh, Axis Blade. I think. Yeah, and it's got 10% charge rate anyway. It's got both of those. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. If, if I, you know, if I come across a boss and I'm just like utterly failing to stagger it then fair enough we'll we'll come back to the uh the lion heart but i don't know let's take the soldiers out first on the basis that it might be a little bit squishier and absolutely they are okay but we're gonna want to get some heals up in here Oh, jeez. <laughs> but like, that wasn't anything to do uh, with us, Smartsy. We just got you saying hello. That's all we got. But welcome back, Smartsy. I was just... You just said hello, and I just said, how are you doing? That's that's as far as we got. <laughs> but how are you doing, young Smartsy? Are you all right? What's going on? Anything going on? Are you okay? Are you chilling? What's up? Maybe nothing's up. Well, thank you for stopping in, my dear. I, I appreciate it. We are finishing up here very shortly, like 15 minutes max. Basically, honestly, we're just going to get to the next save point and then just leave, leave it there. But we'll be back tomorrow, same time as always. Um, I'm, not sh I'm not sure what we're doing this game. Whether we're going to kind of force our way towards the end or go back and do some missions we missed. I don't know. We'll We'll worry about that when we get there. Yeah, that's just me. That's just <laughs> on that friend. Do you know what I'm saying, Liz? It's like <laughs> you're like, it's fine. And I'm like, oh, hey, no, it's not. Let me go fight them. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at this boy. Let's get a nice butt shot on him. Who is he? Proto Bamoth. Oh my god. Let's uh, check him out. I bet he's super chonky. Yeah, he is. He's like a mini boss. He's weak to water and ice. Attacks quickly and relentlessly. Yes. I don't doubt it. So let us, uh, let's do some buffs. A full complement of buffs. And then we'll uh, take it from there. Oof. Yeah. Ow. I'm very well. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, smart. See, I uh, didn't get enough sleep last night. And for whatever reason, cage... I used to sleep like a, an absolute uh, beast. Um... But then, like, once a week, once every two weeks, I would just wake up when I've only had, like, four or five hours sleep and be like, oh, I guess I'm getting up now. Tonight was one of those nights. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, not... 
so uh, I was a bit uh, I was a bit wired at the start of the stream. It's uh, it's quite a quite jolly jolly old time of it. It was uh, a little bit on the wild side, honestly. <laughs> um, oh damn! Not taking him out in time. Oh, did we get him? Oh, there we go. Thank God for that. Thought he was gonna heal up then. Um, but uh, midstream, I was about falling asleep, which is not good, especially for new viewers uh, stopping, like the lovely cat. Um, but I'm uh, kind of perked up a little bit, but now I'm like, I'm so hungry now. I'm four hours later eating them relative to what I would have eaten, if that makes sense. But it's fine. Missed the name of that. So, yeah, boomerang guy. Ochivani. Ochivani. No, I didn't mean to click it, actually. I was just... <laughs> I was just trying to look at the name of it. Oh, yeah. We've been checking for Dauphin Air That's what we did. Let's have a look. Uh, designed to use in time-restricted competitions, this boomerang both enables and encourages constant activity. Oh, damn. This is his haste weapon. So it's given in the ATB rate, plus 10%. Nice. It's siphon boost. What is that? Slightly boost the ATB gauge recovery from siphon abilities. What on earth is a siphon ability? I don't know that he has one. Either way, we're not going to worry about that. 10% uh, haste. Now that kind of sucks with the defense maintenance we're losing. You know how strong that is. Okay. Maybe it's not that extra. Slightly extends the duration of defensive buffs. What slightly? 10%? 30%? 1%? I don't know. But 10% haste. Yeah, we'll give we'll give that a whirl, so to speak. Is that <laughs> Is that right? Uh is that right, uh, Liz? Well, give uh, Doug more regards. Yeah, we're, she's over it. Leave it alone. Okay, I'll, I'll promise I won't mention it again. Um, yeah, we will. In fact, I think we're going to save it right this second. In fact, uh, smarts. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, by the time last thing, but it will be on time by the time I finish jibber jabbering as well. So it's all good. Um, let's quickly spend our. 50,000 CP. Sounds like a lot. When you're on the level f uh, 4 tree, it's, uh, yeah, it's not really. Uh, where are we at? Medic. That's what we're working on with uh, light. Let's just spend this. We don't have to do tomorrow. Let's get those magics first. Yeah. All right, Fang. Yeah, no, Sentinel? Commando, Commando, there we go. High wind, that's what we want. Whatever that is. Release a catastrophic blast, clearing ch clearing chain gauges. Well, now, why would you want to do that? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, we've, we've got it anyway. Uh, so let's jump over to... Um, Saboteur. Okay, go prioritize the abilities first, then we'll then get the stats afterwards, I feel. Oh, thank you, Liz. I'm glad you do. I know you do. Strength he does not currently need. There we go, haste. Finally. Good job. Good job there, young Hope. The what the most important buff, he finally gets it. There we go. Now let's save here. Now use that save file, the last one the furthest one back. Keep staggered save files, never a bad idea. There we go. Let's leave that right there. Let's jump over here for a minute. Yeah, we don't need the super dramatic music there. 
Not quite. There we go. Just a bit more chill. Just chill out a little bit. It's not a chill game. It's, <laughs> it's got some uh, levity throughout, but mostly it's super dramatic. And da, 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 da. yes, exactly, exactly. Cool. Calm down. Nice and chill. Let me just wet the whistle. Hmm. I'm surprised I made it to the end. I swear, when we were like two hours in, I was like, oh my god, I'm about to die. <laughs> Exaggerating, obviously. <coughs> um. Oh, a bit too big. Is there, is there such thing as a book that's too big, guy? Liz, that's the question. Um. Only you can answer this. Excuse me. So, um. One awesome stream overall apart from me being absolutely knackered des even more desperate need of food again using the term desperate very loosely i'm sure there's people in this world who are far more desperate for food than i am but i, I am hungry and i do need to eat um yeah take a picture of it and po get it get it you know where to post it you know where to post it don't you liz yes you do um yeah i'd love to see uh my god in fact talk about discord i uh i've got so many notifications to look at it's fine that's the only problem uh people demand your attention but yeah i've got stuff to stuff to look at there um oh damn yeah that is <laughs> that's one way of doing it that's one way of doing it Liz <laughs> uh, but yeah I'll look at all that later guys thank you so much for being here I appreciate it let me go yeah let me have a look at the thank yous before I jibber jump on about anything else so yeah I already actually thank you Cordial for your uh, for your, for your, uh, for your follow but um, at the beginning of the stream but you're not, you had not arrived yet but thank you for hanging out buddy and again welcome back to Twitch uh, and thank you for joining the conflux and you know just have a good time of it and look after yourself buddy and whether you want to start your own channel up again or not you we're here we are the community is here uh thank you very much to the wonderful squidge with the resub seven months thank you squidge i didn't deserve you thank you to steph babies with the gift sub to earn 90 gift subs oh my god steph what did I do to deserve Steph? I don't know. Bless you, Steph. Uh, thank you very much to the most best ever for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, thank you to Cheesy of the CR Game Room for 200 bits and dropping the Dragon King Slice. Cordial Snail with a resub. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Cordial. Uh, Joel of the Star Road Game Cafe dropping at 10 buddies. He's doing the work like. I appreciate it. And thank you very much to Kat Navatia for the uh, for the follow. Kat, thank you for coming and stopping and saying hello and hanging out. And um, I don't want to push the Discord on you. But <laughs> thank you for the follow. And you've got good taste, Kat. So I hope to see you in the future, Kat. No pressure, though. We will be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, and that's every Wednesday and Thursday. Midday Eastern Standard Time for about five hours um yeah we have we hang out and have a nice chill time of it uh and as soon as we finish 13 we will be moving straight on to 13 too which i don't remember too much about it but i remember having very good memories of it like it's a good it's a worthy sequel i know right right you're smart i see yeah we were, i mean not like Not like seriously worried, uh, Cordial, but we were all concerned for you, bud, because you kind of, you were there one day and then you were gone the next. And it was so sudden that possibly like people didn't notice the next day. But after a couple of days went by, people are like, oh, has anyone, 
Has anyone seen Cordial? I've not seen him stream, or I've not seen anybody else's stream. That kind of thing. And then he was like, okay, I don't know. He's pushed a bit busy or whatever. And then like a week goes by, and then two weeks go by, and then three weeks go by, and we seriously, we started worrying about you, buddy. So, don't do it again, Cordial. If you want to go, often a little sojourn, or whatever you want to do, sir, just let us know. Okay? Could, deal? Can we agree to that? Do whatever you want. Just let us know that you're doing it. Don't just vanish, because we're like... People were... people. Some people were starting to think of the worst. I wasn't. Thank you. No. But, um... Anyway, cool, Joe. I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're doing all right, buddy. And if you're ever not, just let us know. And, uh... I do like... I do like that emote. That dolphin. That's my that's my impression of a dolphin wearing shades. What, what even what that is? <laughs> Deal, excellent, perfect. Because yeah, no one's forcing you to be here, bud. You know, I like being here. Some people get a bit overwhelmed by it. Whether you're whether you're a streamer or a viewer, you like it's just it's just too many people. It's a bit too much. Uh, there's too many people d demanding my attention. There's two people many people giving me attention it can just be a bit overwhelming and stuff i kind of just like float on the surface of it do my own thing and have good interactions with people and then kind of also miss a lot of stuff as well um but you just let you just let us know cordial you just because like i say there's uh there's a lot of people who are just a bit, a bit concerned about you bud that's all because uh, i didn't get the whole story but apparently kind of Twitch kind of effed you in the A a little bit and you got pretty upset about it. As I would. Like, I don't know the details, but what I'd heard is, like, if what Twitch had done to you had done to me, I might, I might have just dropped on the face of the earth as well. I might have been like, hey, up this. I'm out of here. So, you know. But, yeah, Mike, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you, Liz. Yeah, there you go. Smartsy. Don't... Please don't worry, Smartsy. Please. I'm glad. I'm glad, Liz. I'm sorry you're not feeling very well. I hope you, we do hope you feel better soon. That's the only problem. She tunes in, get cheered up, and I cheer up too much. And she's like, can you stop making me giggle, please? Because I'm. it's not doing... It's not helping my lungs out here. <laughs> Bless you, Liz. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, yeah, there's a few of us. Let's go raid someone. Uh, if anybody has the points and specifically wants to choose where we go now is the time to do that redemption no pressure to do so it's not cheap that's just that the the high standard that i set for the snip show and the loyal viewers um but it doesn't matter i will find someone there's always far too many people we know which is like i mean talk about uh you know talk about a <laughs> A first world problem oh no there's too many awesome people i know whatever shall we do well we'll pick one won't we and we shall raid them let's see who's around that we know hey yeah here we go Ooh. oh 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 uh, ah uh, what was that that's sneak me going here some five bitties uh, it's a conflux of sorts. <laughs> some may say. Some may say, Slick Mick. <laughs> oh my god, there's too... There's too many. I can't, I'm not even going to name them all. There's too many to name. I think... There's like a couple on my list here that I want to raid that I haven't raided before. And a few that I have raided and I want to raid again. There's, there's Bridge. I, was to, I mentioned Bridge earlier. I need to raid him. All that being said. I think we're going to raid Poots. Poots is a bloody little legend. I love him. He's playing some Final Fantasy XIV, which is you know, kind of cool. 
I'm not really, I don't care either way, honestly. Uh, he's doing Endwalker. All right, so he's going to be doing stuff that I haven't seen. So, anyone who's cared about who is placed 14, cares about spoilers. If you care about 14, you've probably done it already. But um, I want to see Poots. Um, he doesn't get to stream very often. So, let's just hang, hang out with him for a minute. So, hang around just to say hello to him. You don't have to drop it. You don't have to stay around. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to drop a follow. You don't have to do anything. But he's an excellent dude, and uh, we should definitely go raid him. And unfortunately, leave behind the other 15 people that I would like to raid also. God damn it. We'll get to them all eventually. We're going to get there eventually. But anyway, Poots Cootie. They were raiding your son. We got him? Oh, did I... Did I get you? You got your name slightly wrong there, Poots. Oh, it's K, not C. <laughs> we got him. There we go. Yes, Blinky, the the three-eyed fish from The Simpsons, is his uh his profile picture. So, you know, he's got good taste. Uh, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. If anybody needs me between now and then, uh, let me uh. Oh, just get them in a the Discord. Hey! No work tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Let's go see how Poots is doing. I'll see you soon, my lovelies. Take care of yourselves. Like, if you don't have a place to stay or someone to show you around or like where you can go, like, man, it's just bump that. Just landed outside of it. Perfect. Oh, Izzy. <laughs> Izzy, you raided me? That's still so awesome. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, my man, but I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> How was the stream, my man? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I have. Uh, I, this is so funny you raided me today, man. I haven't streamed in so freaking long. I was kind of just doing it for a C. You know, if I still could. And uh, people are actually coming in and saying, hey, it's really, it feels really cool. It's a lot of fun. This is absolute insanity, dude. I would explain to you what was going on right now, except I don't really get it. So I just, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, he hit, he hit us again. Every time with that move. <laughs> how did, uh, how did FF13 go, man? You making some headway? Jesus, this guy's brutal. This is, yeah, this is the third time we've gone down All this far. I've never played it. Some, and there's a bunch of people who are new in this one. God, man. I mean, what are they saying now? Sorry, I forgot to be either square or triangle there. I disagree. I was definitely not on the line of fire there. Uh, <laughs> apparently, a lot of people are having trouble with this one. <laughs> 